Howdy, howdy, folks. A train here with you for another episode of Planet Base. Now available on Steam from Madruga Works. This is my favorite part. The intro music. So awesome. So fitting for this type of game. Absolutely beautiful music. Love it. So this is the uh, two for plate. Two for Taco Tuesday. <laughs> I like it. I had to come up with something. That sounded catchy. So let's kick over to our gameplay here and launch into this. And let's hit up uh, Elon Escape and see where we're at here, shall we? As soon as the music goes a little bit longer. If you're not familiar with Planet Base, this is a uh, planet building game. Or base building game. And, uh, oh wait, back? Let's just hit continue. And uh, we're playing on the easiest planet, just to get reacclimated with the game. This thing's been out for a while. So, it is uh, a cool game. All right, here we are, Elon Escape. So, we started kind of over in this little corner over here. There we go, kind of look this way. Because uh, that's our initial mine right there. We have managed to work our way out and reorganize some things. And we still have our landing pad over here. Let's check our landing pad situation here real quick. We, we're not taking colonists at the moment. We have quite a crew on hand, actually. Let's look at our base stats. Showing our status is poor. Hopefully that's going to pick up here in a minute. Uh, we have 32 colonists. 10 workers, 7 biologists, 4 engineers, 4 medics, and 7 guards. All 7 are armed. We have 2 carrier bots, 2 constructor bots, no drill. Uh, wait, whoa. 2 carrier bots. And that's it. We only have 2 carrier bots. However, I think we do have um, techs. We've got the constructor bot patent and the driller bot patent, which means we can make those bots once we've got uh, our stuff together. All right. So right now, I want to kind of, it's been a minute. You know, we, we kind of did this a couple weeks ago. So I got to get back up to speed on what we, where we're at, what we're doing. <laughs> now, I remember we were expanding out. Hello? 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 This way. We were expanding this direction uh, in two ways. And that is, this is going to be the starport out here, okay? Uh, this is set up to be a pass-through to this next valley over here to the right. Nope, that's going to take us this way. Take us over that direction, okay? You kind of have to plan for this stuff, all right? And the way we plan out this, uh, what I like to do is build a defense in depth system. So if you're trading stuff at your starport, you've got your landing pads. Then you have airlocks. This is an airlock. And we tie that in to um, the O2 generators, which have to you have to have water and power to create O2. And then the visitor types come in through, and they come through the command center where your armed guards are. So usually... If some bad guys come in, they get detected not too long after they get in here. And then the bad guys go out. I mean, the, the good guys go shoot at the bad guys with guns. And then we've got our um, storage area here because you trade stuff. That way it shortens the length of distance they has to go. They has to go. Yes. what Exactly what I said. They has to go that way. <laughs> so, whatever. All right. Uh, so let's have some fun here, shall we? We've got one, two dormitories, okay? And with our crew numbers at, let's see, 32. So we have five bunks there and three here. So that's eight. So that means 16 crew members, thus half, can sleep at any given time. And that's the way I like to set this up because if you take a meteorite strike, all right, on the dorm and critical members of your crew get wiped out, you're pretty screwed. And right now, with our rating, we're not going to be getting any replacements. you got to be up at good. Decent, you may get one person, if you're lucky. Uh, but otherwise, you want to get that up to good. Now, we have expanded our uh, factory. Excuse me, this isn't the factory. This is processing. 
processing plant takes ore and turns it into um, metal and they take um, starch and turn it into what this guy's carrying bioplastic and between those two things they're used to make basically everything all right like they're gonna go over here he's gonna put this into that machine there that's a medic and in addition to medicinal plants he's gonna make um, he's gonna make uh, medical kits medical supplies for our med bay over here sick bay all right so that's how that works all right now we built this little um, exercise facility hopefully that's gonna help make people feel better we should let's check what our food situation is here so if we look in the meal maker this is just a general thing so one of these little red boxes you see these guys carry they feed into the machine right so he just put something in the machine so vitro meat and then basic meals suck but if you get multiple vegetables you can get salads if you get tomatoes and either maize or wheat you can get pasta I think mushrooms are included in that and if you get meat and like maize or wheat say you're just basic meals those suck um, but salads and burgers are good people will be happy if they're get if they're eating good you know updated upgraded so there's tomatoes now we got basic meals and yeah I think we may have too much production of vitro meat going on here. So that may be meal basic. There's pasta. Pasta's good. All right. So we may, that may actually help us out here. Let's see. Eh, okay. We're not doing great. All right. So let's see what we need. We need to get people happy. Well, let me make sure our infrastructure is good. All right, so we have this power collector here. We have a wind turbine here. We have a solar panel here, solar panel here, and another power collector over here, okay? So they collect power during the day, in this case when the wind turbine's turning, and then at night it bleeds out. And you'll see here we're burning 112, 102, and we're only producing 11 kilowatts. So that's going to burn through. Uh, we're most of the way through the night. Wind's picking up, though, so that's going to help this a little bit. And then it, it just picks up, it dies off, it picks up, it dies off. You know, that's kind of how it goes. That's how baseball go. Now, um, doo -doo -boo 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 -boo. what would we do to make people happier? If we had a whole lot of vegetables and we don't, we could, um, oh, we got a trading ship coming in. We ain't got a whole lot to trade. This guy, I think, is just a G general resources trader, or is he a tech trader? I, the different ships tell you what they are. All right. He's just a freelance food trader. So that's not doing us a whole lot of good. He, we, we could pick up some booze from him. We could also get the tomato, GMA tomato. The problem is he wants 50% commission. So that's, that's a pretty big chunk of change. We only have 158 coins. We could sell a gun, which would make some money. And in fact, I think we're going to. Uh, oh, we gotta go down here and do it. Oops, do that. Uh, we could sell a couple of medical kits and maybe some ore. That's 160. Let's see how much change we can get out of this guy. Uh, oh, nope, no, don't, don't need that much. All right, we're 160. We want to get to 172. We can sell a medicinal plant that gets us to 170 and, you know, whatever. Close enough. All right, let's trade. And we're going to speed things up a little bit here. So with that in mind, um, I'm kind of looking to see where I think if we did a O2... I mean, an airlock right off here. This will allow us to do a couple of landing pads right out here, the small ones. And then we could use the space where that existing one is to now that's going to be a pain in the ass to get to. We may have to go this way or we may have to come out this way and get over there. But, um, I think I think part of the issue is we need bots okay 
And so, bots do a lot of the heavy lifting. Okay. In that they carry stuff around that humans don't want to. See how stuff is backing up in here? It's not getting in the machines, it's not getting taken over there because we only have one carrier bot. And we need engineer bots and we need uh, carrier bots. And really, ideally, we want driller bots too. So let's get this built. And there that, there's that. And then we're going to look to build a new landing pad. And I think we're going to put that sucker right here. No, no you know what? I'm going to put it here. 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 I don't want to put it too tight into the, um, if I put one here, can I put one here? So we got to make that connection. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, we can do that. All right, so let's prioritize, prioritize this. Let's get that landing pad built and we'll actually recycle this one. We got plenty of stuff. We got 11 metal. So what it comes down to here is we want to set ourselves up where well, we may need another security position over here. What I think we're going to do is set up a bot shop. And so I think we can actually take out this airlock. Yeah, let's take out that airlock. And I'm going to try to put a bot shop in here. And that is this deal here. And it may not be a very big one. And the problem is this stuff's in the way. You can't build when stuff's in the way. All right, so there's our uh, new landing pad. That means whatever lands people come off of it, they have to process through security. Because what will happen is eventually you may get a, uh, a ship that comes in that is masquerading as a, like, colonist ship. But it's not uh if people come off of the ship and they're wearing purple uh spacesuits they're actually bad guys so you got to have your guys on their toes as it were in fact i think we better ugh, we do not have two people on duty now we got two people on duty we got an extra gun in here we do that's good all right so we're going to click on this and do this and we're going to put in another security console here And here. Okay, cool. Now, I need people to come get this stuff right here. Looks like this medic's coming to get it. Because I want to... We can establish a connection here, but I'm not sure we need one. Uh... You definitely want a connection directly from your uh, biodome where starch is produced by starchy plants into the processing plant. And you want a short connection from the mine end. So ore only has to go that far. Starch only has to go this far. It goes in the machines and then it gets taken care of. All right, somebody come get this. Or I could just say, screw it. I got seven of them. And we could take it out of play. Since no one's heading that direction, I'm not going to foo-foo around with it. I want to get bots going. All right, here we go. This is what we want. Now, we can't make a big bot shop. We can make a small bot shop. If I took out sick bay, which now we got somebody who needs dock anyway. Um, hmm. I can't put that in there. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, Doc's taking care of that guy. Or gal. Whoever it is. I don't know. <sighs> All right. We got two solar panels. Filling things up here. We're, we're producing double what we're using. And that's good. If you can produce twice as much as you use... That's a pretty good amount of output. 
Uh, I feel like, oh, we got a uh, tech trader here, I think. I think like blue, oh, it's raw material trader. Eh. He wants 50% commission. Uh, we can sell him some meat and some vegetables. I'll take this down to 10 extra. I just like to keep the options open here. And let's see. We've got six or what's this going to take? And we do have an extra gun. So I know we just ran this up really high. But we throw that in the mix. Now we can see what we can come back down to. We do have ore. Cool. There we go. So we're trying to kind of get our amount of coins, our cash reserves up. And now we got somebody else who's hurt, which sucks. We got two people hurt. Ah, oh, we need freaking driller bots. And then to, but to get driller bots, we're going to need more engineers, which means we need engineer bots to do engineer work. So our engineers can. Oh, Jesus. Now someone else is coming out hurt. Damn it. Oh, that sucks. Let me just build the damn thing. We'll remodel later if we have to. All right. Okay. So now the way this will work is to build bots. You have to have a metal and a, a bioplastic and then like a, uh, a chip, a semiconductor, which comes from here. So this, the, these materials that are produced here will just have to go right into here. And then they'll go in the machine to produce bots. And we can put an automatic bot fixy uppy dealy, like a pit stop shop for the bots. And they can go in there and they can get that taken care of. Whoa, space turd. That was close. We need to get a, um, we need a couple things going here. This is connected. Um, I feel like we are ready for an additional power deal. Very large. That's a large. Oh, this is a very large. Did we buy, the, did we get the patent on something? <gasps> no, son of a... Burp. Hit storage, man. Killed two colonists. Oh, no. That's not good. Remember what I was talking about? <laughs> Let's see what we lost. We lost, oh, we lost two medics. Okay, now, I, I say, oh, we lost two medics. Well, <laughs> we didn't lose people growing food. We didn't lose people fixing stuff. So that's good. <laughs> so if you're going to lose somebody, that's why you need to have redundancy. <laughs> the Department of Redundancy Department is good to have in that regard. And so now I'll see an engineer is fixing that up. And then he'll be able to go from there. Okay. So we're working here. We're working, we're working, we're working. All right. So now I have to make a quick pit stop. But I'm going to let the game keep playing while we do. All right. So now this is this dome's back in business. All right. And so stick with me here for a minute. And I'll be back. And we're going to get that uh, bot shop up and running. And then the new power collector. And then we're going to have to add some additional power generating capacity.
Oh no, we got a dust storm. Yikes. That's not good. Crap. Let's go to yellow alert here. That'll get everybody back inside. And uh, that's no fun. You get blowed around in the dust. All right, now we got that. Let's go ahead and speed things back up. And we should, and we're done. Okay, cool. All right, so let's get bot workshop. We don't need a bot auto repair because at the moment we don't got no bots. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of important. All right, this just needs to be fixed. It needs one metal. We have one metal sitting somewhere, which looks like it just got allocated to this. Oh, geez, that was close. Yeah. Uh, I think, all right, so this is, these are the biggest they can get. This is, well, we could get something bigger than this. This is, I think, as big as it gets. Let me go back and check my text. Mega collector patent. Yeah, we've already got that. So that's good. That's the mega collector. And it'd be great if we could upgrade these. We'd have to do some finagle in here and connect power like from here to here like that. But this is the priority. And then we could get rid of this because this one holds 12,500 uh, kilowatts of power. See, we, we've got to get our generation, uh, kick our generation in the ass here. And then I think we could build uh, another water unit elsewhere. And then, oh shoot, somebody focused on the wrong thing. Shouldn't have done that, but that's okay. Um, oh, there's a ship. All right, let's see what we got. What, oh, medical trader. 50% commission. Okay. Not a whole lot. Well, we actually got a bunch of food now we can trade. So let's run up. If it's more than 50%, we really don't want to trade. Dreadnought. No, I just got... Uh, no, I... So... Uh, after I streamed earlier, uh, I went out and exercised. I uh, did some of my little stretching exercises and push-ups. And then I went and walked a mile. Uh, I did a new course through the neighborhood back here. So I live in an apartment. So the block that I'm on is like half of my complex on the west side. And then there's two other complexes. And then there's a big residential neighborhood, which is really nice back in here. And there's a ridge line that runs south. And so I've got like a half mile loop, which is like flat. And then I've got a one mile out and back, which is pretty flat. And then I've got a mile and a half course, which goes down just like the mile course. And that's the half mile mark. And then it goes over the ridge and then down to the low part near the creek. And then it comes back up. And then I have to, then there's a heavy climb coming uphill on the back end of the course. So you have to put out the extra power on the return trip, you know, so it really works you good near the end. Um, and then today, because I'm just getting back into my exercise program, I utilized that tail end to get that hill. But instead of going all the way down, I went about halfway down and then up over the ridge and then came around, came back. So just a one mile loop, did it in probably a little over 15 minutes. I wasn't pushing time. When I'm pushing time, I can do a mile in about 14 minutes walking. So uh, I got some exercise, had me a spinach salad. Fired around, watched some videos, Facebook, stuff like that, and decided, hey, you know what? I think I'm going to play for a little bit. So, oh, this guy, so 80, start adding stuff up here. So this is called Planet Base. Oh, I do not want to run us all out of vegetables. Keep. Normally, it won't let you, it'll only give you a portion, but apparently here it gave me the whole thing, and I didn't want the whole thing. Okay, there's, well, ew. okay, well, we'll give him one more vegetable. No, wait a minute. Hold on. All right, so we got five ore. Let me pull two of these out and put one ore in and then pull two more out and put one more in. The only reason I'm doing that is to lighten the load our people have to carry. I could trade the gun, but I think I'm going to wait. 
but that'll get us some more cash. So we trade. So it's a base building game. Yeah, yeah, it's and I got a, a, a visit with my uh, VA doctor uh, coming up next week. Okay, we got robotics up. We're going to turn up the priority. Now, here's the thing. Uh, we can edit the contents. Wait, no. We can we can choose what kind of bot we want to build. All right. So right now we're just going to build a carrier bot because we just need to get something. We need to get a Fred in here to. Oh, shoot. Now, see, this is OK. We're almost through the night. The wind is dead. Um, we're bleeding the energy pretty quick, but here comes the sun and it's all right. Do, 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 do. So this just barely, this didn't even start filling up yesterday. Now we're going to start pulling power. What we can do is, uh, power that mine off. That'll save us, uh, power. And then this ship ought to be about done. Our people are not going to be happy because, you know, they're running stuff back and forth. And we're out of spare parts, but that's okay. We're going to fix that up here in a second. So now let's see where we're at. We're in very poor shape. Eh, okay. We really need to get our power production up. We're at 106 of 186. Oh, shit, don't do that. Uh, let's do this. Let's shut down the landing pad for now. And that will help save us some power. Space turd landed right there. So... Uh, there's different levels to the game. You're just building a base on an alien planet. You have to get yourself into a position where you can survive uh, with a limited number of crew and then get the base functional and people happy so other people want to join your crew, which right now we're kind of not in great shape in that regard. Um, but where are we on the day? What part of the day? Oh, we're getting late in the day. We're just barely getting this. Hmm. The wind is kicking up all, uh, though. That's good. And let me look at our water grid. Holy crap, our water grid's great. Okay, so we need... So we we should have everybody getting happier. I don't think we need two of these up and running. That's got one in it. That's got one in it. So we're going to shut that down. We're making vitro meat for trade. This game's from like 2015. It's pretty, it's pretty, pretty fun little game. Dude, great value. Madruga Works did it. They did Dawn of Man more recently. Um, but now they've gone back to this. All right, so we have a lot of ore coming out of the mine right now, and that's good. What? Uh oh, that was close. And let's see here, like sprinkles. Why? Because it's my birthday. Q put a message on here saying it's your birthday. Yes, they hit my base. Um, Yeah, actually, uh, we took a hit and lost two medics earlier. They were in the uh, wrong place at the wrong time. We took a hit on the storage dome right here. Now, we do have a defensive system we can develop. Problem is, right now, we're a little shorthanded. And so now, this is going to help. This is a big help right here. We just got us a little bot. So he's going to be helpful. And we get another carrier bot here. We're going to be back in business. Now, the other thing is, we're actually starting to store up power in this which means we have 25,000 between these two power collectors. And now this is buttressing that amount. Where'd that space turd just land? It was close. We were getting bombarded here. So we're gonna have to figure something out. And figuring something out, what I mean is we need to build a observatory. Now the observatories can go far away from your base. You don't want your power collect, not your power collectors, your your solar panels and your wind turbines to be far away from airlocks because either a bot or an engineer has to go out and uh, use spare parts in those. All right, we are at full capacity power-wise, so that's excellent. So let's do this. Let's build. We don't have a whole lot of materials for it. 
I don't I think we get a little better detection if we have a bigger um you know, wait, 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 wait. Let me think this. Oh, wait, I can't make that any bigger. Here, this is what we Here's what I want to do. No, that's not going to help either. Well, I have a plan, but that's not going to work. Because we'll be able to possibly change that out for a bigger... Oh, we, oh, we don't have the super extractor patent yet. We have the driller bot, the constructor bot, the mega collector, and massive storage patent. And even with a mine and the, the landing pad shut down through the course of the night, we burned through, what, a whole bunch of power. All right, we got to get we gotta get some defenses up here. Let's see here. So we're making guns. I don't think we need to make more guns right now. So let's actually put the arms workshop on hold and allocate that engineer to doing something else. We've got three other things going on. Excuse me. We're still in a poor state, which sucks. Everybody's getting, well, let's see what food choices we got going here. Basic meals, those suck. Burgers, basic, basic, those, uh, the burger's good. Basic sucks. Now, see, this is a problem. And it, this is my fault. The burgers are good. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Is that burger out of here? Good. We're going to recycle this machine. So what this will do is shorten up the number of machines they can put stuff into. And that will allow more, um, hopefully, vegetables and stuff to wind up in them. Also, we're processing, processing too much vitro meat. And we're going to go ahead and shut these down, too. Because we're, we're winding up with too much meat in the machines and we need more vegetables. That way we'll get salads. If you can get a bunch of salads, your people will be happy. You, want, you don't want basic meals. You want burgers, pasta, salads. Excuse me. But don't we all? Okay. So now... Where are we on the bot shop? We're at 15%. Is that our second or third bot? Oh, this is our third one that's under production. There we go. See, now we're starting to get decent shape. Starting to come up. And that's in part because now bots are carrying stuff around. Whereas before, the people were having to do it. And people don't like carrying crap around. See our bots there, Fred and George? They're running schmutz everywhere, clearing out the stuff that's sitting in the space over here. That's a good thing. All right, cool. All right, so sooner or later, we're going to have to deal with the fact that we do need defenses. I'm just, we can bridge around this. Wait a minute. Mmm, I, mmm, mmm. What's our... We're still good here. All right, guys, let's nuke this. Take that out of play. And I think I'm going to take this out of play. The problem is we got to reestablish a connect. Oh, shit. Whew, nobody got killed. Where did it land? Oh, gosh, it hit between the storage center and the storage facility and command center. Nobody died, though. But did you die? No. <laughs> and they still had oxygen. Problem is they wouldn't have had water. Um. Okay, so I'm trying to keep my options open here. This, how much does this hold? 25,000? 20,000, as opposed to 12,500 that this one holds. So if we make this connection, we can't make that connection. So then we'll make this connection. And in doing so, that takes this out of the loop. Because this connects to this, connects to the base. This connects to this, connects to the base. So now I'll be able to take this out. So what we're going to do is shut that down. And hopefully power is going to start draining off of this one as we go into night. Yeah, there we go. All right, so I have a plan. Great. Custer had a plan. If we can get a third. Oh, we do. Yeah. 
All right, let me uh, let me fix this up then. We're gonna go to an engineer bot now. All right, so that's the engineer had to do the engineer work. So let me explain the people here for you, Dred, so you understand what's going on. So we got several different types of crew members. Okay, we have workers, and they work in the mine, and then they work in the processing plant, and they'll man the radios, and then they carry schmutz around, and then they manage to get hurt in the mines, and then they wind up in sick bay and have to see doc. Then you have biologists. Biologists work in the bio uh, dome here, growing food. And then they also work uh, in the laboratory here, manning the uh, vitramine machines. Um, yes, that's what they do. So you got to have biologists to grow your food. Then you have engineers. Engineers fix stuff, build stuff, and they work in the factory over here making spare parts semiconductors and guns which take metal plastic and a semiconductor they also work in the bot shop where this guy is working and he's working to make a um constructor bot which does the job of an engineer oh shoot all right we're going to yellow alert here get through this uh, sandstorm anyway so as soon as he rolls this engineer bot off the line, this is effectively now one a, a human won't have to go out to um, like use uh, work on and do repairs on solar panels or wind turbines. A bot can do that. Plus the engineer bots can actually carry stuff too. So they're multi-purpose. Uh, we have two medics who work in the sick bay. And they also work in the lab making medical supplies at the uh, workbenches. All right, we're good. Uh, and then we have seven armed guards. The seven in parentheses mean they're armed. So we have seven guards that are armed, and they patrol, making sure bad guys, you know, aren't dinking around. But primarily they are in the command center, like these three folks, four folks are. So when we open the landing pad back up, you can have uh, visitor ships come in, if you allow that but you can also if you're bringing in additional colonists sometimes they can come in and they come in in purple uniforms as opposed to blue for workers green for biologists yellow for engineers red for medics and gray for guards they come in in purple uniforms off of a cruise ship which should be replacements then they're bad people and they have to there'll be a nice little gunfight and stuff so i've got the defense in depth situation set up over here so everybody has to process through the command center to uh, get into the base. Uh, bot wise, we have uh, three total bots. We have three carrier bots, zero engineer bots, but that's under in the works. And then we have uh, no driller bots, which work in the mines. So this, as soon as an engineer gets over there, we're gonna have us a, a engineer bot and that's gonna kick ass. That's gonna be real good. All right, so this here, we're gonna shut that down and we're going to power this up. And then we're going to take this out of commission. And now we need all that schmutz picked up because what I want to do is build a bigger one of these over here. If someone could come get that, then I could plan this out. We could build a bigger solar panel if we had the, uh, the patent for it, but we don't right now. Of course, we're not pulling in trade ships right at the moment either. And the engineers are probably sleeping or doing repairs on something. Yep, see, there's an engineer out here. Oh, no, that's the engineer bot. Sweet. All right, so now we are going to actually kick this back over to a carrier. No, we're going to do another engineer bot. Space turd. That was close. Uh, now we're going to actually put, build a bot uh repair facility so bots can drive if a bot breaks down an engineer or an engineer bot has to go repair it yeah mcdonald's workers are pissed um so there's an automatic bot repair facility so bots when they get close to breaking down can come in and actually get themselves repaired and then that frees up the engineers to keep working doing what they're doing so if we if nobody's coming and picking this stuff up, I'm going to just clear that out. Because what I'm going to try to do here is this. 
And that's what I want to see. Thank you. Now, all this stuff here, see how the engineer bot is heading over there? And here comes Fred and George. And they're going to shuffle all that stuff over here. Here comes Ralph. And so we only need uh, two more metal. And we've got a bunch of it sitting somewhere. Here it comes. Here it comes. The bots are doing their job. See? Yeah. Nice. Nice. I like it. And uh, we only have two medics, so I'm going to keep them off duty at the moment. And here comes our new power collector. Sweet. And just in time for morning. I like it. So now we're going to need to increase our power generation. And the best thing we could do for that at the moment, I think, is build an additional wind turbine. So I'm going to put that as far over here as I can. That kind of carves away a bit of the mountain space there a little bit. Because I want us to be able to keep up with power at night. That would be great. We can Another solar, solar panel will help enormously during the daytime. But being able to see the wind just died, which kind of sucks. But it'll come back up. And when you have a dust storm, the, uh, all right, bot auto repair has been completed. Hooray. Did we just get a second engineer bot? Because then we're going to put that hold. Yes. All right. So now we're going to switch over to driller bots. Aha. So we get a couple of driller bots. We'll have more workers available. First off, they'll quit freaking getting hurt because the union doesn't like that. Second, um, we'll have more people running these machines to produce more materials up here. So then we can build stuff faster. Yeah, yeah. Now, see now, we're not getting a whole lot out of them because the wind's pretty dead. That's up here. But we are getting, you know, something. Something's better than nothing. Now nightfall's coming along. See the wind strength's kicking up. These will do like 50 kilowatts each, depending on the wind speed. Right now, we're consuming 99, but we're producing 90. Now the wind speed falls off, you know, well, that's going to change. But uh, that's okay. Hmm. Is there a way we could connect that? I'd have to finagle this. Can we put another? Oh, well, we can't. Can we? Can I? Squishy? Squishy? Uh, this is the only thing about this. Ah, oh, damn it. I can't squish. I could put this size, but I can't put this size in here. You know what? Ah, oh, what an idiot. I should have put the turbine. Well, no. Nope. Oh, that would have worked. See, what a dork. All right. Let's uh, let's open the landing pad back up. Now we're good on our power situation. Space turd. Hmm. Then. Not the worst idea. I think if we get the the big wind turbine patent, we could build the big wind turbine here. The key is you've got to keep everything connected. So we're going to put in a... Are we? Yes, we're going to have one thing first. We're going to make this connection here. All right, that's going to be high priority. We could make that connection there, but that's okay. This is going to create a sonnet loop, which allows us to take something out here. Maybe build this bigger, make this smaller, whatever. Trade ship. This is a... Ah, oh, it's a bot, this electronics trader, which actually, let's see what he wants. Ooh, 35% commission is good. 30, you, I think you get as low as 30 or 35. This is pretty low. And then you can actually go up to 60 or 65. You don't, or 60% commission, you don't want that because that's, that's been you over. Uh, but you know what? I want chips. 
We're going to take two chips and get rid of some of our food inventory. Because we got a lot of food. And then, the only problem is we can't exceed the capacity of the ship. All right, that gets rid of, that takes, ooh, that takes us down to six. I don't want to get down to six. There. Take it down to five there. All right. So we got a couple of chips. We could buy another bot, but we, we can produce bots. But the chips will... Um, trade a couple of those. We're at 220. Uh, we can trade a bioplastic. Sure. 230 for 230. That's going to take a lot of work moving all that crap, but that's what we got those bots for now. All right, bots, get busy. Get busy. All right, now, there is our telescope. So, what we're going to do is actually put, we're going to power this up, and this is going to be our secondary command center. Now, our secondary command center is going to have a guard desk here and a second guard desk here in case a bad guy decides to go this direction. Now, I don't know if we'll be able to fit an armory in here. No, that's fine. We're going to put a telescope console in here. And then we'll put a radio console over here. We don't actually need this, so we'll keep that. Um, yeah. It would be Elon. I like that guy. I don't care what anyone says. I do too. I mean, I'm not a fan. Of, I'm not a fan of Tesla cars simply because where's those? Where are those batteries coming from? I think uh, hydrogen. Now, yeah, this is a two-part thing because, like, my boss um, has a Ford F-150 with a V8 engine, but it's a hybrid. So it also has. All right, we're going to turn this up. Uh, the radio console. Wait, I don't need the radio console at the moment. What an idiot. I don't want workers dinking with that. We don't have radio. What we do want is an engineer here. So we're going to have to actually. Aha. See, no, we're finally back up to good status. The key is getting those bots. And I think we may have our first driller bot on. Uh, almost. Almost. Come on, get it there. Get in there. Hey, come on. Come on, we need Smedley. There we go, son. Nicely done. Now, see how that blue bot there, Fred, just rolled in now. He's getting churched up. So the way these work is they start full life up here, and then as this burns down, then they break or get close, and then this drops. And then this burns down again, and then it drops again. And then, you see what I'm saying? So this is their life cycle, and this is the cycle within that. So we get some driller bots going, and we do have a driller bot going now. See, he'll work in the mine, and that frees up the workers to hopefully not get their ass kicked. And we can start processing more metal. So what we'll do in the processing plant is put in another metal machine. Because now we've freed up a body here. All right, now we got a general, uh, this is a general uh, trades guy. General trader. Oh, <gasps> he's, what, 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 what? 50% commission. We can deal with this. 600. One well, 600. I got 552 cash. I got two guns for you. Ain't got no food. I could trade you a medical supply. That's over 25. I'm trying. I'm holding on to the semiconductors because we're going to build the laser here in a minute. Uh, we can trade you. Four of those, one of those, uh, one of those, 225. That guy's a pretty good chunk of the way there. Bit of cash, and we'll take the patent. Whoops, I keep letting off the button. Just roll tide with it. So I'm not, I, 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 I like the hybrid idea where the engine recharges the battery. And if you use like on Formula One cars, a kinetic energy re recharge uh, recovery system, 
So under braking, they recharge, they it generates heat, which gets recovered as kinetic energy, and then it helps recharge the batteries. <clears throat> he gets with that V8 engine. Um, he gets 40 miles of the gallon in an F-150 with a V8 because of the hybrid aspect and it works because it runs in the city. And I'm like, you know what? Okay, I can deal with that. I can, I can respect that. Still, all right, we got the big wind turbine. Now, we are going to get us some people in here. So let's look at our colonists and we don't want tons of biologists. There we go. That's actually good. Uh, we could use a couple of, we could use another medic. Yeah. So you can set this to default. You're not guaranteed what you're going to get. But, all right, so now that's in works. So our detection now is 60%. Now we need a laser. We need it. No, you know what I can do here? You know what I can do here? We're generating a crap ton of power. What I want to do is a couple of things. First off, first of all, we're going to build a large solar panel here. Yeah. What was that? Oh, we just got crew. Uh, we're just going to do that. Okay, we got plenty of stuff to build that too. All right, so let's um, let's see what we got. Ten, eight, four, two, seven. So we got uh, another two biologists out of that deal, or maybe we got one. So now we're going to change over here. We're going to go to uh, we're going to lower this number down. I do want to raise this number up, and I do want to raise this number up. That was close. Damn it. Oh, we need this laser. All right. I want guards, engineers, and medics, but I... There we go. Whew, that was close. That's why it's good to have redundancy. All right. So now the wind's actually dead. Recycle. All right. Here comes a uh, trade ship. And this will be a food trader. Oh, no. Industrial trader. Hmm. <gasps> Well, we actually have lots of stuff. <gasps> Damn it. Son of a bitch. Yeah, he wants 60%. Dismissed, Hogan. He had the uh, Goliath um, solar panel patent, which we want, but we ain't paying 60% commission for it. Nope. Rejected, rebuked, denied. So now as soon as these knuckleheads come clean up this schmutz here, we're going to actually build um, another solar panel there. And we're going to decommission this one. So we got this connection made here. We're going to take this solar panel out. We're going to put the big wind turbine there. That puts it fairly close to this airlock. And then uh, we could put a big solar panel over here. Because I want the stuff. What, what you want to do is like what we've created here is a loop, right? And you got to understand the size of the footprints. So if we do the giant wind turbine, see how it's the same size? So we know it'll fit there, okay? Whereas if we did the giant solar panel, the giant solar panel would be the same footprint, I think, as that. And that won't fit in that space. So we've got, that's the giant storage dome. So we've got that available to us. The problem is we would have to route a connection off of the gymnasium here and over to this to take this out. Though we could do that. All right. What do we got here? We got a medic. Why'd you go all the hell the way over there? Where are you going? Oh, he's going to get this. That's cool. Thanks, dude. Appreciate you. <clears throat> so now we're up to three medics, which is good. I would prefer to have four. So we're going to stay on this same... Uh, layout here for requests from command. 
fiasco in Chicago can what be repaired? The uh, the trucks. <clears throat> Ultimately, I want to see. Um, I want to see um, fuel cell vehicles. All right, so now we're going to get this built. Let me prioritize that. <clears throat> this is why I have airlocks kind of in odd places because it helps facilitate building without people doing like this guy who walked all the hell the way around the base when he could have just gone in, airlocked in, airlocked out, and gone and got stuff. But that's okay. I don't expect it all to make sense. What I do expect to make sense is the fact that we have the stuff to build a laser. What was this? Cruise ship. That's a guard. Guard. All right, which that's good. So now we're at eight guards. Um, I would like to get to 10. Okay, the new solar panels up. We're going to decommission this one. And see, having that sonnet ring, that's a telecommunications term. It allows you to take one point in the ring out, and then, of course, service continues around the other rest of the ring. So that's why we'll create a connection from here over to here eventually, using even just maybe this base pad, like this. And there, like that. Because we want to get the uh, large... Uh, super extractor patent. So then we can put a super extractor in there. But see, I can change this out to, oh, jeez. Maybe we need a laser there. Comes crew. What do we got? What do we got? We got another medic and another engineer. That's perfect. I think we're good now. I mean, I'd like to have two more guards um, I think we're going to chill on this for a minute. Actually, let me, let me turn it back on and let me increase the guard percentage and then increase the biologist percentage because we're probably going to need more biologists. But now we got four medics, so someone should be over here while someone's over here, you know, sleeping or whatever. So hopefully we won't get nuked again and lose them. Uh, what's going back? To, oh, yeah. Well, I could put a laser back here, which would cover the base really well, actually. So this may, that may not be a bad idea. I was going to put a wind turbine, but the laser is pretty good. I just need this moved. That's We got a lot of metal, which is great. Someone gonna come get this? No. What we got here? More crew. All right, we got a biologist. Excellent. So now we got someone to help continue with the food production. We haven't actually increased our food production capacity, and this one machine here—they're still maintaining the machines. But let's take a look and see what we got here. Pasta, basic, basic, basic. Uh, we'll look at you in a second. We're still getting shit food. And that's not helping us any. Salads are good. Okay, so that's good. All right, let's see what this guy's got. 50% commission for uh, raw materials. We could use, We need to get our um, cash reserves back up. So let's see what we can do here. 25 per here. We got some, uh, 15 per here. Uh, we can trade away all that. Trade away a couple of these. Uh, trade away three or four of these. Well, wait, that's only worth 10. These are 15. So let's take those back off. I want to make it easier to do the transaction. Um, actually, now one, two, three, four. Uh, no, the yield signs are not yield signs. Those are arrow ups. Uh, the arrow up means that uh, I have increased the um, priority. Sandstorm approaching soon. This is what's good to have the uh, this for. 
So we're going to hold off on setting up construction out here. When you have the observatory, they can spot sandstorms early. And that's good. So hopefully we're going to get this trade ship off the ground before the sandstorm hits. And it kind of sucks. I would like a second airlock. But everyone's got to process through. So sandstorm imminent. Yeah. I'm actually going to keep us open. People going in and out. It's going to be a little bit of a cluster. As long as they don't try to do what this bot's doing. This bot's ballsy. He's making the, rip, uh, the trip. And see, it's wearing down his uh, deal. But if these folks just, they're not going far. So, uh, now this guy's an idiot. Now he's in a bad, he's in, yeah, he's going to get over. That's dumb. You're a medic too. But that's okay. We're almost through the danger zone. This guy's in trouble too. They'll be okay. All right, that's it. We're good. Now, how can you tell? You can you can see the visual indications of when the storm is abating. Uh, during the daytime, what you can do is look at your uh, solar panels, and you'll see them start generating power again, and that means the, the storm's effectively over. So that works out. All right. So let's get busy. Give me a laser. And let's get this prioritized. So yeah, what I did is you see you can lower the priority or you can prioritize work in that structure. So what that I I don't know. I don't I try not to prioritize everything. But like right here where the command center is, those guys are on duty. But my higher priority is to make sure an engineer's on duty over here. And unfortunately that's a bit of a road trip for them, so, which kind of sucks. So if I build a dormitory off of here, which wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, um, either that or a secondary canteen, then people would have to lock in through security and visitors will want to go to the canteen or they'll want to go sleep. Oh, crew, I think. All right, that is a two workers. Robotization reached. Nice. All right, I think that's, Oh, no, that's guards. We're good. Now we got the 10 guards I wanted. So now I just want to get... Um, yeah, now we got driller bots. What we got coming in here? Something. Let's take a look here what our numbers are. Oh, hell yeah, we got five driller bots going. Hell yeah, open up the second mine. And then you actually go back to making carrier bots. And that started the process over again, but I'm not worried about it. 60% commission. Dismissed, Hogan. All right. So next step here, I think we're going to do is put a second. Mm, crew. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? All right, one engineer, one biologist. I think we're good. We're going to turn off colonists for now. So we got 10 workers, 10 biologists, six engineers, plus we have multiple engineer bots, four medics, and 10 guards, which is way more than we need. But now we're prepared. All right, so now food is going to start becoming an issue. Okay. So we can do a couple of things with it. I want to make sure we're getting enough vegetables to get rid of the basic meals. And the problem is we have like two medicinal plants. So here's what we're going to do. We have a lot of bioplastic. This is a wheat pad. Uh, I think we're going to take a wheat pad out of play. And we're going to put in another um, lettuce pad. And that's going to produce. So what happens is you've got vegetable pads and starchy vegetable pads. Vegetable pads will produce three vegetables per cycle. So you can see here there's a cycle. Mushrooms are low and slow. They, use, they, they take a long time, but 
they require very little maintenance. Now you see 99, watch three little boxes appear here. There they are. And that means it just popped. And then one over here just popped. So this guy just popped. No, that didn't pop. Another one popped. That This one's going to pop, okay? The starchy pads produce two vegetables and one starch per cycle. And the starch gets brought over here to these machines, which produces bioplastic. It's a fascinating concept. All right. So we're pr going to produce some more vegetables. Lettuce pads are high maintenance and require a lot of work, but they're fast, just like tomatoes. So we're hopefully going to get some more vegetables out of the deal. What do we got here? Oh, it's medical trader. Oh, we got plenty of medical supplies. D give me a good rate. 50%. Uh, okay. We got stuffs. We got lots of stuffs, actually. We can probably kick gun production back up because we got more than enough bots. Um, all right, so 137. Here's your 25 each. I'll take it down to four because that's how many fit in the console uh, in the cabinet over in the uh, sick bay. Uh, so there's 175. These are 15 each. Boom. Perfect. Got it. So what I'm going to do now is come over to sick bay. Where's sick bay? Sick bay's over here. And we're going to actually build a second cabinet. And then some of those medical kits as they get produced will go in there. But now the fact that we've got uh, driller bots working. Shoot, speaking of driller bots working. All right, this guy just finished another bot, which is terrific. But now we're probably getting to where we got 11 bots. Yeah, awesome. Now we're in excellent status. So we'll get two to, well, good will get you two people per visit. And then excellent will get you an extra one. So, I don't think I'm happy with this setup right here. Because I like the idea of two. I don't like the idea of one airlock serving two landing pads. I like two airlocks serving one. I mean, I could do this and then we could put another pad here. And then that would allow extra capacity but this may not be the best location here plus see we've got all this space over here to develop the um, starport so if I come this way then there possibly there for five if we could do five airlocks off of this one deal that would work out really well uh all right we got the laser up and running that's great now the thing is we don't have anybody manning the the console so if anything we want to get more engineers because more engineers means more stuff built But we do need to start looking at getting more food produced. Um, I wish I could pause this and keep an eye on it. It's a basic meal, basic meal. I don't want basic meals for frick's sake. Uh, all right, I have a plan. What do you got, dude? 50% commission. We got bots. We don't need the bots. Um, we don't really need anything. So we should sell him everything we can, take his money. Except food. We don't know. Uh, I don't need that. I got tons of construction materials. And we're about to put that to use. And that's the key with having all of the stripper pole. There's no stripper pole in this game. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Um, the. Uh, so 99. 99 lift balloons. Floating in the summer sky. 45. 60. Oh, we got plenty of ore. Uh, I'm going to hold on to that. That's fitting. Let's 
spare parts. We got lots of spare parts. So that takes us to 105, which means we could take one of these back out of play. We still need 10. So do that. Cool. All right. So uh, now this is the only planet for this deal. There are other planets you can play. This one is the easy planet. You have to deal with meteorites and um, dust storms. The second planet, you have to deal with um, blizzards. Uh, let's see what we get here. All right. Well, we got three biologists. <laughs> okay. So that takes care of that. And we're up to six engineers. So I must have missed a ship that came in. All right. That means we've got to get on this food situation. All right. So here's what's got to happen. And here's what's going to happen. So we are going to uh, build a dorm. Actually, I'm gonna, I think I'm, I'm going to see if I can squeeze a cabin in here. And then maybe I can build a dorm. Shoot, slow things down. Slow, 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 slow. And then see if I can build a dorm here. If I get rid of this, I can do this. But I got I to gotta get... Eh, oh, no, I don't need that big of a dorm. A small dorm would work. Now, hopefully this is not going to take out... Damn it, it took it out. Okay, well, that's fine. We're going to put in... Put it back right there. All right, so that will give people a place to sleep. But let's get this... Now, the dormitory, as opposed to the cabin. So, this cabin is the bigger one, I hope. Um, we want to only have enough beds for half our crew. But also, we've got diversity at this point. So, we're not going to lose a, a lot of people if one of these gets nuked. I mean, right now, you see there's, like, no more than 10 people sleeping at one time. You're not going to have all of your personnel sleeping at one time so that works out all right so what i think we're going to do is i need to move that landing pad that landing pad is vexing me i am vexed we're gonna do an airlock out this way straight out or we can do one and two that would probably be better And so these people don't get cut off. We're going to wait to actually make the connections. As soon as this gets built. Oops. So the people are all wandering all the way the hell around. Because yeah, I kind of screwed them. I could have maybe built an airlock right here squishy 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 no squishy okay so once we get a metal over here though this is gonna be good once we get a metal over here this is gonna be good oh hell come on let's get it done people shit we can't build that one there um i screwed this up So, um, sandstorm detected is your first indication there's a sandstorm coming. Okay. And then the next indication will be, let me see if I can get this. There, that's not bad. All right, the new uh, deal is up. Cool. What do you got? Oh, he's got the GM onion. He's also got 55% commission. Now, the genetically modified onion and tomato DNA is, is terrific. And actually, we could almost kind of use it, but it looks like our food production's up, and that's probably because we got the extra biologists, um, plus the lettuce pad we put in place that helps too. And so, what the two GM pads do, which is the onion and tomato, is each cycle they produce four units of vegetables as opposed to three. So, um, you get more food production for the same effort. All right, cool. So now here's what we're going to do. Um, 
we are going to nix this, this, and this. And then over here, we are going to build. All right, let me see. Shift, boom, 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 boom. Tell me I'm going to get seven. I got seven. Sweet. Okay, cool. So now, people, when they have their own beds, as opposed to a bunk. Shit, we need to go to yellow alert here. You gotta get everybody back in. All right, now the new airlock is built. One of them is at least. This robot's gonna have a hard time. He's gonna be okay. He's gonna be lucky to get all the way back before he breaks down, and he'll be okay. He's still got several parts of his life cycle left, but it kind of sucks. He got caught in a bad spot, and in part that's that's fault of my design. Yeah, he's not quite going to make it. He's not going to make it. He ain't going to make it. Oh, he's going to make it. He's getting close. He's going to make... Oh, the, the, the storm just passed. Oh, my God. Why didn't you go in? Dickhead. What a dummy. All right. That's all right. Cool. All right. So, the issue with my design here is... And I think I may just correct this. I think I can correct this. All right, is I'm going to try to put this back, but closer, like this. So if I do that, first off, you can't build where crap is sitting, which is kind of dumb. But now I think I can do this. Nice. And that provides easy access to this for repairs. And it'll provide easy access for this for, um, I mean, it'll make this easier to construct, although dummies are going all the way around to do it now. Okay, so now we're back over to working on this here. So with this deal here, what we can do is we can build a starport. And we could build two big pads. We could build one in the middle. Uh, in fact, I kind of like this design. And then we could put smaller ones outside. But you can actually make this look really cool. Um, let me actually look at putting in another. Uh, here comes a trader. Okay, so we're just I'm just trying to put as many of these on here as I can. What do you got? Too much commission. That's what you got. Get out of here. I don't want you. Goodbye. So what we'll do is we'll do the big starport here, here, and here. And then we may do smaller ones out. Smaller one here and here. And then out board of those. So let's get our first big one in here. Put it right between these two. And then um, we'll look at a smaller starport. But also, let me see, how are we doing on power generation? I think, oh, look at the laser with the intercept. Yeah. All right, so here's this. That's, that's cool. And we can increase our, our intercept percentage. It's only 60% one telescope. If we build a second telescope and put in a second panel, uh, it increases our uh, chance of an intercept. So we could put another umbop over here. Or it could go here. And that would actually allow me to upgrade this. I think we'll be able to build the bigger one now the thing is there's a range on this guy so you, you can see there there's the range and this actually doesn't cover all the base so we're going to need a second uh a second laser to cover this side of the base um 
The other thing you kind of want to do is have beds near your people's workplace because then it makes them happier. So now we're actually happy. Come on, get happy. Now the reason I was doing all that is to get rid of this because I have a plan. As soon as this gets cleared out, we're going to ditch this. Get that cleaned up because we're going to build a second biodome over here, I think. We're going to build a, a big-ass dome. Well, I may... Mm, 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 mm. Oh, sh shit. Boy, it came right through our face, didn't it? <laughs> Thanks, D kid. Um, okay. We ain't got a whole lot of food. We ain't got a whole lot of stuff to trade at the moment. We do have medical supplies. Uh, I want to hold our spare. Well, we could trade one spare part. I like keeping five spare parts. Really, actually, I like keeping one spare part for each thing we've got. We got like four solar panels and or two wind turbines and one solar four solar panels. Or I want to keep at least five spare parts. We do have lots of ore we can trade. All right, let's get this going and see what we can get out of this guy. Okay, 175, 211. We can trade a couple of these too. These are worth 10. There we go. All right, so that's 10. These are 25. That's 10. I don't like this discrepancy. Is there a better way we could do this? Yeah, well, no. These Oh, these are 15. I could take that off the table. Throw one of those on the table. Well, those are 15. I just, that was stupid. That was the same thing. From the Department of Redundancy Department. All right, let's do 10 and then take one of those off and then boom, now we're even. Be, you want to be within one coin. All right. So we have... A possibility to do something here I'm thinking on this I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this I have to figure this out but first what I gotta do is go to the bathroom so you guys keep an eye on this okay let me pull back here and let me clear this menu off what I'm gonna think what I think I'm gonna try to do is connect a couple of habitable modules here and here so then we make a loop here then we can take this Oh, shoot. Oh, you know what? That is actually the first thing we need to do. The first step to do what I just mentioned is to build a second. And then this should allow us to build a single dome between connecting the two together. Perfect. That'll work. All right. So what we're going to do here is build another storage dome. And then that's going to force, we're going to uh, empty this one out to this. So hopefully everyone will quit dropping crap in there for a minute because then we're going to get rid of this dome and we're going to build the big dome. The big, 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 big dome. See, this is the, there's the, the small one. Then there's the second one. Okay. Then there's the third one. Then there's the big dome. We're going to build the big dome. So yeah, we just got to get this built first. That's a, pro oh, you know what? It's kind of a problem. It's kind of not a problem. Here's why it's kind of not a problem. I need bioplastic. And what I'm going to do is take out some bunks to get bioplastic. So that's that's a little bit extra, and that's that's what it needs, actually. Boom. That'll get it done. Okay. Y'all sit tight. No rogues or bandits? Yes. Rogues and bandits. We're going to get to that. So stay stick with me. I just got to run the tinkle real quick.
Here we go. All right, so we got the new dome built. That's good. So now new schmutz is going to go into the new dome, which is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass, but we have a plan for this as well. So our plan is we want to build um hmm a lab is cheap can we get the lab in here we can so this is going to take a minimum amount of stuff to build and see now people are taking stuff out of here and once we get this built it'll make life easier to move stuff through but we're also getting a little tight on um, on food. So what we need is a trade ship that we can buy a bunch of uh, bioplastic from. All right. Now, this idiot, if he'll get out of there, that's good. Okay. So this guy, sometimes they'll get trapped in here. <gasps> like this idiot just did. Oh, my God. You're a retard. Don't do that. See, he would have died eventually if you don't catch that. It's like, guy, just build it from the outside, okay? A trade ship's landed. Oh, trade. I forgot we had the pad out here. <gasps> what? Ooh, 55% commission. That hurts. But you know what he's got? He got the big dome. The farm dome patent. Yes, please. And thank you. All right, let's get rid of some schmutz. Now, he's got a huge cargo capacity of 120. So we can get rid of like a bunch of this. There's a hundred of it. Okay, so that takes us to 520. We're just trying not to destroy our cash reserves. There's 140. We're, I think we're making um, metal quick enough. All right, that takes us there. We're going to burn one of those. We got those machines. Eh, you know what? 260. So now we're down to what? 380, 360 that we owe. That's not bad. I'll do that. I'll buy that for a dollar. Nope, not that much. Yeah, that's the, that's the other big dome you can get. Um, now you've committed to the trade, you can't go back and change stuff. Brah, what are you doing? That's That's got to be built. Oh, blockhead. Now, he, Smedley there just figured it out. So what we need is a laser over on this side of the base. Um, hmm. I think we're probably going to put a laser maybe in this area. I usually will put one outboard of the um, landing pads too. So if, uh, okay. All right, now this is almost done. This is going to be a pain in the ass to do this. But we need this out of here. I could delete it. Oh, shoot. I can't delete that. Well, okay. I can get rid of it. <gasps> Wait a minute. Don't be stupid. Oh, everyone could come in this way. But, God, that's a long trip. Let me think of how to do this. Ah, I see what we can do. How are you going to get there, blockhead? Oh, wait. I have a plan. Okay. So, this is going to be our construction point here. Okay. Now, here's how we're going to get there. Ready? All right, people. Y'all are in the bad, wrong spot, wrong place, wrong time. Just saying, get your suits on. Boom. Get your suits on. Get your suits on. There you go. Ploof. And that's how we do that. Now, move all that crap out of there. Go build that new airlock. And, yeah, this is going to be a pain in the ass for a minute. So let's actually shut down the landing pads for a minute. I want to get this work done. Well, everyone focused on that. So... Two things are going to happen here. One, we're going to build a giant, the, the big-ass dome. It's bad. The 
big dome is about to be in the house. I so we're not producing enough stuff to bring over here to store. Okay, so now all this crap here unfortunately has to get moved before we can do anything else, which is stupid, but whatever. Um, I'll put another deal back in here, help crew sleep. They're not going to be happy about it. I'm not be surprised. Oh, we're in excellent shape. That's good. Everyone's having to make a road trip around right now because you can only, your dorms are single-ended, just like your med bays are single-ended. Everything else, um, everything else can have multiple connections. Holy shnikey, that was close. I would say, ha, you missed me, bitch. But that would, yeah. All right, guys, could somebody please go pick all that crap up? Oh, you know what we're going to have to do? I hate this. Here's what we're going to have to do. No, that's not what we're going to do. We're going to do this. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Why are you doing this, A-Train? Because now it's forcing the bots to go recover that bioplastic to come build this stuff. Just like if I come over here and reactivate the gun machine... And if I have them build another semiconductor maker, okay? And if I have them build another uh, metal ore processor or two, those require metal, okay? So just like a gymnasium or like a dorm, effectively, good Lord, we're under attack. Just like a dorm can become a storage facility for bioplastic, Okay. The um, these other things. Look, now we got pasta. Here we got chicken, tomatoes, lettuce, and damn. We need a third. Um, that's next. That's the next project. What I need is to create something that requires a lot. Of, oh, a lot of metal, like a landing pad. Duh. All right, Dorcas, Dorcas, Jorcas. So we got that landing pad there. Let's build a little landing pad out here like that. We'll give some space. It won't matter. It's a little further out. Okay, so we'll put this here. And that will get some metal moved. And then we can get a second laser built out here. And then that laser will have that much overlap with the base. Whereas this laser overlaps to out here. We've run out of spares. Well, poop. What do we do about that? I know what we can do about that. We can ditch this foundry we just built. And because we're out of bioplastic. So let's start ditching this. And ditch this. 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 Uh-huh. See how that works? So as long as you get back what you put into it, then it's a good thing, okay? So now we got that bioplastic there. Hmm, funny how that works. Now we got the landing pad built, and then there's this over here. So now what we're going to do is hopefully they're going to go get this. Oh, wait, maybe I can do this. Maybe? Maybe? Oh, there he goes. Sweet. There we go. Looky here. Ha, 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 ha. I love it when a plan comes together. Boom. Boom. Okay. So there is the very large storage dome, and that is the priorita. Respect my priorita. We're going to recycle this. And look, there's four metal. Now, you lose one in the translation there. But we can work with that. And we're pretty good on... How'd that wind up there? Oh, oh, I know how it wound up there. It wound up there because, well, duh. Uh, I think we can make this connection here. We can, but we're not going to make it until we get these established first. All right, we're ready. Go build it. Oh, it needs three metal. All right. All right, we need a Fred bot. 
I have played this. Uh, let's see here. If I pull this up and I do this and I click this. And then I click this. Uh, 400 hours. 409 to be exact. So, yeah, I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two. So, yeah, you can manipulate manipulate the system to get stuff moved. All right, as soon as he gets this connection made, we're going to yellow alert. Okay, cool. Now he can get in through the airlock there. And we'll speed the game up. Now what's stupid is the bots and stuff will come out of the mine, and that makes no sense. I don't know why an engineer was in the mine. He might have been going to get some ore or something. We run out of spares. Okay, we'll make more spares. Stand down, yellow alert. Okay, now let me look. I've only got one wind turbine. I want a second wind turbine. Um, Space turd. Do we have a second laser up? No, but what we're going to need is a second engineer's desk for the... Wait, we got two observatories or telescopes. So we're going to need a another telescope panel. Now this is where things get a little hinky because space turd. <laughs> Lucky no one was sleeping. Okay, so now we got that complete. We're going to put this in place, and one of these at a time, and hope they don't F it up. Yeah, well, yeah, ever heard of a chainsaw, my man? I'm just saying, I don't know, it could be easier. Now, once this connection's made, then we remake this connection. Then we can ditch these two things, get rid of this. We'll build a new airlock. Well, there's an airlock right there. That'll serve that construction side. And, yeah. So, we need a... Um, this is a nice little detail here. I think that's been added with this uh, upgrade. They did a little upgrade on this a few weeks ago. Do it on this side. Thank you. All right, next is that. And once we get this complete, then we're going to be looking to do something over here. And we're probably going to put in a big, a, a big dome, a new uh, biodome with, not, with, without Poly Shore. No poly shore. Dickhead. Ron Ware is asking me, uh, what do you play on? What do you play on? Oh, dickhead. Oh, no. There's an airlock. Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. All right. That means we can take... All right. If you idiots will quit going this way. Blop. And... Blop. Okay, that takes those out of play. And then we actually need to play... Well, we'll see if we can get them to drag all this crap in. Because if they do, then... We are bueno. The green lines when building our airlocks. Oh, so the green lines around this? No, the green lines are connections. So if we see it, that's just showing where you can connect stuff. So if, if it's here, I could connect to the command center or the storage space. Okay. But then it depends on the object you build on whether or not I could get two connections out of it. Like, I could probably get two connections out of this little deal, out of this big deal. And it's going to be dicey. I may have to go further out. And then the the geometry may not work. All right, they cleared all that schmutz up. Guess what? Grab that stuff. Now, <laughs> I have a plan. Great. Custer had a plan. Um... Uh-oh, we got the dead bot. We're going to shut down the bot. How many bots do we have? 
Holy shnikey, we got 16. <laughs> Crap. That's a lot. Okay, so we're producing spare parts again, which is good. All right, so now we got all that. Um, what I'm thinking is we're going to take the... Uh, uh, wait, nope, those have a connection. It's all good. I like it. All right, let's take this out of play. And we're going to take the bot repair out of play. Uh-huh, I have a plan. Stick with me. Stick with me. Mm-hmm. It's all coming back to me now. Thank you, Celine. Go clear that schmutz out. And then next is going to be to clear this out. Boom. Go get that stuff. All right. I have a plan. Trust in the plan. Because remember, what we bought, small one, this only has four pad, food, four food pads in it. This one has uh, 12. This one has 16. Big Dome has 20. Big Dome. <laughs> See, so that's where we can make the connections. See, now our production is kicking ass to the point where we got enough stuff coming in. We actually have enough food for the crew we have. We really want to take the next step. This will help us take the next step. Cracker Barrel, a.k.a. the white people box. Standing reached. Okay. Standing now means everybody knows who we are. That's when it starts getting interesting. But right now we're not taking any ships. So, um, good God, look at, look at that. We're ready to go. Massive doom. All right, is our other laser up? It is. All right, we got dual coverage lasers. Now, uh, this is okay, but I'm actually going to take this bunk out of play. And actually, we could take, uh, we have, all right, get out of the way, Smedley. So we're going to start, as soon as this powers up, we're going to check our, um, ooh, are we producing enough O2 here? We are. Let's see where we're at O2-wise. 41 people were producing 9002. You don't want your sleeping facilities too far away. <clears throat> this one's a little bit far. It's three steps away from Kevin Bacon. But it's three steps away from 202 generators. And actually, I think we could connect that. Boom. I like it. That just means we can't put a TV up in this. And we may actually decommission this, which means we got to move this and put in a bigger gymnasium. I'd actually like to do that. Let's to belay that order. And yeah. So now this is up and running. First thing we're going to do is put in some maters and some lettuce. Power storage is low. <gasps> Uh-oh. Yeah, it is. Crap. I forgot I was going to upgrade some stuffs like this over here. Oh, wait, is that the big one? Oh, that is the big one. Nope, you're up. <laughs> Sorry. My bad. This is the one over here that I need to uh, decommission and replace. And then we need a probably an additional wind turbine. Yeah, we could use an additional wind turbine. And I'm dinking around and not building it. Let's just put that over here. And then we could use another solar panel too. Oh, you know what it is? Actually, this is stupid. This is on my, this is on me. If you're not using your landing pads and we're not right now, then power them down. We actually don't need this going either. So as we race through the day here, see we've, now we're producing double the amount of power And as soon as somebody gets out there, hopefully the wind will be up 
for the course. And then I say that, and then it goes curve. Ah, oh, here we go. Here comes a Fred bot. Now, of course, the wind dies. That sucks. All right, but that does get that up and running. All right, and then this is going to help start making more vegetables. So we'll bring in, we'll put in some onions and some radishes and some mushrooms. Um, we do need some starch. So we'll put a couple of starchy pads in. And I think I took out a medicinal pad. I did not. Now, what we could do is we could make this primarily like food production. And then this one could be starch production. Uh, that's an option. Oh, shit. This is shut down. Blockhead. Run that down first. We're almost through the night anyway, so it'll be okay. The wind's dead. We're generating nothing. That space turd landed right in the middle of everything. Jeez. That was a big case of the yikes. All right. I'm going to start pulling these beds out of here. And we're going to need... Ah, here's where we're going to build. Hang on. I got it. I, I got it. I got this right here. All right. I'm going to put this right here. And this is going to make the biologist happy and these workers too. Um, because then they're going to be close to sleeping quarters. Sandstorm approaching soon. Uh, you guys are going to have to get back in quick. When this, well, sandstorm imminent means you're done. So let's go ahead and go to yellow alert here. Get everyone back in. This is going to, yeah, see? Perfect. Good timing. Now, this thing's going to kick it in the ass. This thing does uh, 80 kilowatts. This one only does 50. So we'll be producing like 130 because they're at full song when you're in a, a dust storm. I mean, look at, wait a minute. Something's weird here. That's producing 80. That's producing 50. 80 plus 50 is 130, right? This says we're using 133. Okay. Now it's finally bled off. Okay. It took a while there for... Oh, that's why. Because I didn't speed up the game. It takes a little bit for the solar panels to, you know, die down. Hi, Q. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Q. Happy birthday Dear Q, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, dear Q. Yay. Thanks for stopping in. I was doing a, a late night stream kind of for you since you're out there on the left coast. All right. I think we're good now. Stand down, yellow alert. And. Oh, you know what? Ha! No wonder we got so much metal. That's all we're doing is producing metal. Let's get this finished. Now we're going to actually put in a bioplastic machine in its place. I forgot I set these up to be storage effectively. Um, there we go. We've got so much ore and so much metal. Now, so we got this giant dome here, right? So logic would dictate that the next smart step might be to put in another uh, canteen. That would be this and put this right here. So then you want the canteen right next to the food production, right? And then you want it to be centrally located. So this is, we're kind of creating a little bit of a symmetry here. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. Hey, we survived the eclipse, right? So, oh no, he was fixing it and he crapped out. Boo. All right, are we getting full power up here? How are we doing? 133 to 266, and the wind's pretty dead. So we're producing double what we're using. Of course, we still need another solar panel. 
So I suppose if I turned on at least the outer pad, oh, you know what would be good? If we turn that on. Question is, what's that gonna do to our water? Okay, it goes up, oh, we're not at nighttime yet. So, okay. We're gonna build another water generator over here. Uh-huh, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay, so here now we can... Yeah, I hear you. Quit bitching. We got freaking so much... Um, I can actually turn it off again. There. If I turn it... So it's out of water. But now... I mean, we were producing plenty of oxygen. Now we're going to up our water production. What we need to do is turn trading back on, and then we can get the ship back in here. Waiting for bandits. Yes, you're waiting for bandits. Yes, you want the payoff. I get it. Let me just square away... Pew! See that laser? Pew! I'm going to do something right here. We're going to do an O2 generator right here. And we're not going to open it up. We're just using it to create a pass through to that other side. So we can... So we can wait for it. So we can break on through to the other side. Break on through to the other side. Break on through. Yeah, yeah. We got tons of food. Tons and tons of food here. So I think we're going to build us a new canteen right here. This looks like a good spot for a stick up. Tighten this space up here. Whoop, dip, 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 dip. Get that built. We don't have much bioplastic. But we're working on that. Space turds. Oh, God, that landed close. Did it? Where did it land? There's one over there. Incoming. That wasn't too close. All right. So what we want to do is take out a couple of these beds here. And get this. Oh, that's fully built. That's good. We want to take out all these beds here then, actually. I have a plan. So now, once we get this built, our freaking dome here is pretty full. We need to get a trade ship in here. Trade ship. Lollipop. Uh, how are we doing power-wise? I think we're kicking ass. TBD. And I think we're going to be able to build something across here. That may need to be a... Ah, beautiful. All right. So now, there's not going to be anything to the inboard side. So that's where the TV is going to go. We might be able to put two of them side by side. Let's try. Boop. Boop. Cool. And then we can put TV... Uh, put the tables like this... And then we'll do another one like this. And then that also allows us to put another water fountain in here. But we're going to put those back here. Okay. And that's because the food machines will go here, here, and here. Actually, you know what? Belay that order. We're going to put food machines. I don't want to put too many food machines in... Because, uh, boy, it becomes a self-defeating prophecy. All right, so now uh, we don't have any bioplastic. We're going to be producing some. So we'll put like a plant over here. All right, so let's get that up and running. We still don't have enough starch coming in. So let's do a ding, 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 a rice pad. Rice, rice, baby. And... Yeah, we'll do that right there. So that'll help 
rice and uh, peas are the fast producing but high um, they are um, fast production but high maintenance so we're let's make sure we're not pissing people off for fall okay we need probably need some more bio uh, pro more biologists in here but I also want to make sure mm, let's get a cruise ship in here and go okay oh my gosh where did we lose two workers <gasps> what they died it. I missed that so once these machines get fixed then some of this food will get offloaded into those machines and hopefully then we'll start getting some quality food so there's salad basic basic sucks tomatoes mushrooms and potatoes this going we're gonna get salad boom that's the way it works so there's tomatoes and radishes so when one of these meals gets taken off a different vegetable gets put in here then we'll get three units of salad and that's what you want your people like salads see salad 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 pasta pasta basic burger boom burgers are good we're actually uh let's turn the oh oh oh, oh. ship sir ship 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 uh oh okay we just got an engineer type yep we just picked up an engineer so now we're going to need to pick up yeah that'll work i want biologists though we need biologists okay what we can do is take this out of play now boom we want to make this bigger that's gonna be our next major thing but we've got to build up some bioplastic because i mean we'll get some back when we decommission all this crap like if i take out this tv we got two tvs in there right and we got a plant in there and we got benches in there and that's bioplastic storage effectively the plant yeah you can stare at that all day and it's still gonna look like a plant the toys though the exercise bar and stuff that's metal all right so now we've got this all over here so that's all good we need a Oh, we do have a plant over there. Ship, 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 ship. What we got? Two engineers, one biologist. Green is the biologist and yellow are the engineers. So now we're set on engineers. So now we're going to go all biologists. Oh, we did pick up one. And then we're going to pick up, and we'll go 50. Actually, we're going to go 60, 40. I like to actually have more workers than I do biologists. But um, we have all the uh, bots to help us out. So that helps. That's a big help deal. Uh, that's okay. All right, people. Uh, everybody's going to have to chill out on needing to exercise for a minute because I have, I have plans for this. Uh, I just need to see what we can do to make this more easy because I don't have a good... Oh, no, it's right here. There you go. We're actually in good shape. All right, we got a bunch of bioplastic saved up. Sweet. And once, oh, we got biologists. Oh, three of them. That'll do, pig. All right, now we're set. All right, cool. Hit the decommission on that. Recycle. Thank you. Clean that up, please. All right, so now we can go back to cutting off colonists and bring in traders. So now we got 17. Oh, Jesus. No, wait. Hold on. <laughs> we got freaking 17 biologists. A bunch of nerds. Nerds. Oh, I do see we could probably pick up a couple more medics. All right. Trading ship just landed. That's good. Yeah, we got way too many biologists. All right. What do you want? How much you charging? 50% commission. He's got a gun. We're making guns again, so we're good there. So we want his cash. He ain't got much. But you know what? <laughs> we got a butt ton of food to get rid of. Like. And so let's get rid of some of that food. Cool. Oh, wait. He's got a. Oh, we're going to get a bunch of stuff from this guy. What am I doing? <laughs> Look at all this food. Well, nope, nope, nope. All right. We maxed him out. Give me your constructor bot. That'll clear up one spot and give me that 
360, 160. So now we now we gotta change things up because that's that's too much. All right, 100, 150, 150. That's 300. Ugh. That's 180. Okay. Oh, I see what we can do. Hang on. Okay, yeah, he's got some space. We got med med kits. And then Yeah, take one more of that. Boom. Confetti. We'll take your gun. Yeah, this is uh planet base. All right, we're gonna actually we're gonna energize this one too. So now we got two airlocks going. Now also we are producing enough water. We can put that O2 generator up. And then I need everybody to clear this out. And while they're at it, we might as well go ahead and clear this out. We'll be coming back to this. What's this coming in? What just came in? All right, this is two workers. That's, oh no, a medic. And, oh, two medics. Damn it. Okay, well, that's good. That works. All right, so we got six medics now. We're going to go to full on workers. Having all those engineers now should help us keep good coverage on the uh, laser systems. Although this one was just turned off. See, it's 84% intercept. And I didn't, didn't I get a. Oh, I only got nine engineers. You know what? Sandstorm detected. Okay, that's what's good to have people coverage on that uh, telescope. Low on storage space. Well, no shite, Sherlock. Holy crap, we sure are. Okay. <laughs> I'm not worried about that one little bit right there. All right, so let's get a new big dome. I mean, it's not the biggest dome. Hey, come on. Can I kind of, oh, man, are you seriously going to screw me on this? All right, well, I guess we, okay, I guess we're screwed on it. That was more crew that just came in. All right, so that's going to give us a, um, all right, Sandstorm's approaching soon. How are we doing on power? Power looks good. We're down, oh, no, we're in good shape. Sandstorm approaching soon. Okay, um, Get all that crap out there that you can. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Stuff's there. Okay, this guy's going to build, and then he's going to haul ass, hopefully. Come on, dude. Don't, don't worry about building it. Just go. There you go. All right, that's going to work out. Boy, yeah, I wouldn't, you know, somebody give me the opportunity. Old worn out veteran with no college degree, but I got people skills if you don't want to be a willy foo foo bullshit artist. All right, there we go. Now, see how the, they're coming up to power? That means the storm's over. All right, here's a trade ship lollipop. This is good. Oh, please. Yes! Ha 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 ha! I love it when a plan comes together. Remember those guns we traded for earlier? Boop, boop, and boop. That's Now we're down to 300 coins. <laughs> See all this metal we got? <laughs> See all these we got? One, two, three, four. We're going to hold there. There's a reason why we're holding there. All right, so that's 340. Mm, we don't need anything else. You know what? We might as well take his money. Whoops. Uh, let's clear this out, and then we'll drop back and punt. All right, so now to clear out storage, what we can do is... Oh, shoot. No, actually, we're maxed out. So there's not much we can do here. we got to back out that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, he's maxed out in space. Crap. Which means we... Well... Hmm. How about I take out a gun 
and let you keep your cash. And instead, shoot, he's still maxed out. Okay. So what we'll do here then is we'll drop this out. And cool. 540 for 540. I was just trying to clear out as much inventory as I could. But food's only like five each. And you, medicinal plants are 10 each. Bioplastics, 10 each. Then you go to 15 for, um, for metal and spare parts. Um, starch is also five, ore is 10. And then medical supplies are 25, semiconductors are 40, and then guns are 80. All right, so now we've got the, the trade worked up. Let's do it. And we're gonna get the super, super big solar panel patent. Cha-ching. All right, this, what just landed? What just landed? What just landed? Wait, oh shit. Uh, okay, those are workers. God, I gotta get on top of that. All right, we're gonna start working from this position here. We're low on storage space, yes, but we have a plan. Uh, oh, I forgot I did something. I forgot that I did. Okay, no worries. Oh, wait. Huh? Okay. We're going to need this. We're going to need to decommission this next. All right, there we go. So now we got the uh, playground. All right, let's see how this is going to line up. Um, colossal patent. If we put the put the runners back here, because we could. What's coming in? Cruise ship. All right, we got an engineer and a worker. All right, that should give us plenty of people we've about doubled our crew size here in pretty short order 12 17 12 6 and 10 um yeah that's enough engineers we should have manning on the consoles at all times so that'll help increase our shoot down percentage it sucks i was hoping to make this connection here but because this is a really big dome and this is pretty big it needs this wide ass walkway as you notice the walkways are a little different size this is kind of smaller. That's kind of, that's bigger. So let's get some stuff built here. Put those there. Put these here. Put this in the middle. Nice. And hopefully, put bench, bench, TV, And TV. And then we'll put another water fountain right where that dude's standing. Get out of the way. And we'll put a plant there and there. Pretty. Okay, cool. What do we got? Trade, ship, lollipop. He's a long way out, though. <gasps> He's got the GM tomato. Hmm, we got shit we could trade. You're a 12. <laughs> yeah, you got a commercial. All right, so uh, hang on. All right, so let's see. We got 600 on the trade. Let's use two guns, a bunch of this. Okay, cool. All right, so I wasn't going to do a lot of talking because I, I, I see how that works. It's, I, I, it's like I think it completely blocks the screen. Whereas on Twitch, you can still see what the person's doing in a little screen. And it, it just, it pisses me off. 
but you can't hear what they're saying. And if they would freeze the live stream, that would be a different story. But they don't because they suck. All right. Um, wait. All right. We're going to actually throw out some cache for this. All right. That will help clear out some inventory. And then we'll use cache. Excuse me. We need 190. This may be the last of the patents we need. Oh, no. We need the GM tomatoes still. Okay, cool. 600 for 600. All right. So we talked about this earlier. So the, I get that. I mean, look, I built the biggest freaking storage unit, and it's still filled up. But that's because we're producing stuff so freaking quick, and I can't trade it off quick enough. What I need to do is get, um, we're going to make this dome bigger. That feeds back that way, so that's going to be good. Um, let's go ahead and recycle that before anybody puts anything into it. Spares, that has two in it. I would like to get one more set of spares done. Let's go ahead and close out this. And if we can get one more set of spares going. All right, so Q, so you understand, so you need a biodome to grow food. And there's two different categories of um, food, uh, food what, what we, pallets. You have vegetable pallets, and then you have starchy vegetables. Well, these are actually medicinal plants here. These others are starchy vegetables, okay? So each cycle, and there's three different ways these work. So like the tomato and the lettuce are uh, high consumption, fast production and high maintenance. And then each cycle, they produce three vegetables. What the fudge? Oh, you know what? O2 generator is out of water. Okay. All right. That's fine. I have a plan. Let's shut it down because we can pass through it, but we're not actually using it. Because if you look at our grid, we have, we're producing enough oxygen for 120 people. We only have 57. So what we're going to do is take part of the... Did I get that patent yet? I did. Wait, no, I didn't. Crap. All right, so we're going to put another extractor here. So that's a water extractor. Oh, goody. What the hell was that notification? 40% commission. You're hired. Okay. Buy some food from me. That'll clear out some inventory. Hell to the yeah. Now, this is going to be a pain in the ass. Um... Oh, shoot, we're overweight over his capacity. Uh, now we just need to get the change to match up here. This is going to be a pain in the ass. Our people aren't going to like this. I need more carrier bots, but I don't have a bot shop at the moment. But this is going to help clear out that inventory issue. So trade. We're low on storage space. Yeah, no shite. Um, you know something, Q? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say something here because I saw your picture, like on you know the message you sent me on Discord. You're a good-looking lady. 58 wouldn't I wouldn't believe it. Look, you look at least 10 years younger than you are. At least, just saying. All right, so let's get, let me go back to what we were talking about here. So there's three categories of um, food pallets. Okay, there's fast and high maintenance, which would be tomatoes and lettuce, and then uh, peas and rice, okay? So you see this little indicator here, it's fast production and high maintenance, all right? Now, the uh, medium is your radishes and onions, and then low and slow is mushrooms. On the starchy side, your mediums are potatoes and wheat. 
and then low and slow is um, maize. Okay. Then you have medicinal plants, which make medicinal. Well, medicinal pad makes medicinal plants, which combined with bioplastic in the laboratory allows you to make medical kits, which we have a bunch here. Um, now, with that said, uh, where are we at? No, everybody's currently working to load the ship. Uh, each cycle, you'll see, that, see these things produced here. These are your vegetables. This is a starch. So the regular um, plants here, these uh, pallets, produce three vegetables per cycle. And you'll see like three little things pop up. Let's see if one's close. That one just popped. That one's got a ways to go. Anyway, you'll see three little red vegetable things pop up around one of those. Now the starchy plants, they produce two vegetable and one starch per cycle. So you see that up here. We got vegetables and we got starch. Then we get meat, vitro meat, out of the lab from the vitro meat machines. This one's uh, chicken. All right. And then that stuff goes into these uh, food machines, meal makers. And if you get three things of vegetables, then see we got tomatoes, onions, and tomatoes. That's only going to make basic meals. But now there's mushrooms, lettuce. Now we're going to get salads. If you have three different vegetables, you get salads. If you have a like wheat and mushrooms or wheat and tomatoes, you can get pasta. And if you get meat plus wheat, you'll get burgers. And your people like um, your people like more uh, like the higher quality food. They don't like just the basic food. All right, let's see what this guy's got. 50% commission, that's reason we can deal with that. All right, let's continue clearing out some of our storage here. Let's see what we can get out of him here. Now we can only set we can only uh, sell him 20 things because that fills up his cargo hold. Okay, so we can, we can get to 181. Okay, that's the best we can do. We'll take this down to 140, 140. Come back here. And trade. Cool. Now, it is a bit of a road trip, which is why we really want uh, bots doing this job. But we got to make a couple of adjustments here to the base. All right, so now we got our super cool new uh, multi-dome, which just rocks the house. That's awesome. I'm actually going to go ahead and throw an another screen up here. So it's going to look totally cool. So the people exercise there. They can get water for hydration because dehydration is the devil. They can get water here in the canteen. We've got two canteens. Um, the screens, they'll stand and watch the screens, and that makes them happier. We'll see how happiness is going up here in morale. Uh, we could use more sleeping quarters. So let's see what we got here. We got seven beds here. We got six beds here. So we only have 13 beds. How many people do we have? 57. Holy shnikey. All right. So we need some more bunkage. Let's see where we can put some more bunkage. Actually, we can just put a couple more bunks in here. That'll help. We want to have no more than half the number of bet. Well, again, initially, when you first start the game, you don't want to have more than half the beds for the number of people you have because that way, at least no more than half your crew is sleeping because if you take a meteor strike on the bunk when everyone's sleeping there you're very severely fucked so yeah we can actually because we're producing so much food like an insane amount we can actually start decommissioning so, well shoot i didn't want to do that this radish pad i'm going to decommission because it just popped so it produced these ones that just produced we're going to take those out this one just produced as well. What are you doing, A-Train? Well, I have a plan. You say that a lot. Yes, I do, because I do. Uh, we have a 
and we have a loop here low on storage space again all right well here comes another trade ship and it's a small one poop he's got space though oh and he's got good commission too so let's go for what can we trade this guy we don't want to trade a shitload of food oh i know what we can trade i think well now, unfortunately, it's not much stock-wise. We can trade this. There we go. Ain't going to get much out of here. It's only 13 units, but I'll also make it easier on our people to transport. So, actually, I want to build... All right, and once they get that out of there, we're going to have eight spare parts in storage. And that's great. Good. That's cleared out. Then we're going to take this out of play. So hopefully they'll come get that real quick. Hopefully. We're going to need more storage. Eek. If we're not moving this stuff fast enough. We're producing too quick. We could put another food machine... But see, I don't want people overloading the food machines. I want to cycle the stuff in and out. Yeah, I see you. So let's do this. Let's put a table there. And probably put another... Hello? Hello? And then let's put another table over here, too. And then we can put another video screen here. Somebody's on the treadmill. All right, so that'll help. Not a whole lot. A whole lot. Um, okay, so someone hasn't come to get this. Well, guess what? We don't need it. All right, so now we're going to build a bigger factory. Whoop, like that. And there we go. That'll close that'll close out that corner. And let me check my grid here. Water's good. Oxygen's good. We can fire up this O2 generator again, I guess. If we want to. All right. You want to see bad guys. I want to show you bad guys. The thing is, I'm still trying to square away. Uh Oh, I know what we, that's what we need. Okay. Um, what I want is to get rid of this. And here's a trade ship. Lollipop. What do you got? Well, how much you want? Nope. Dismissed, Hogan. All right. So let's get this out of the way. And then we have... Um, something we can do here there's a couple of things we could do here we could put a i'm going to put a airlock right here off this one ah that took that out okay cool let's build that there that way people can come around this side and work over here because we're about to be working over here. Why are you working over there, A-Train? Because I have a plan. Okay. And the trick here is I want to build a bar. So we need a bar. That's this. We're going to build a big one. But I kind of want it to be connected and it's not going to work that way. Crap. I kind of want to connect it to directly to here, but it ain't going to work that way. So that's okay. <gasps> that was close. Space turd. Where'd that land? Okay. Bar. Because people, uh, travelers like to go into bars. Okay. All right. So there's that. Now, 
With that said, the other aspect of this is, okay, we just lost a driller bot, and that's okay. The other aspect of this, okay, we got our, uh, our airlock over there. We're going to take this airlock out of play so that we can build off of there. Okay, I need that moved. All right, we're going to see if we can pull this off. This is going to be a little bit tricky, but I think we can pull this off. We're not going to build it off of... Come on, give it, give me, 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 damn it. All right, that's a very large solar panel. We got plenty of freaking schmutz to build a very large solar panel. So we're going to build a very large solar solar panel. Actually, yes, you build them as close to your airlocks as possible. Let's get that built. All right, what you got? How much you want? 45%. Okay. Um, hold, please. Sandstorm detected. That sucks. All right, we got six carrier bots, one engineer bot, and four driller bots. Okay, so we're going to buy one of each. We're going to trade him. We're going to trade him. You had the Eclipse. The We had... Um, Yeah, they blame it on climate change. Yeah, it's just like they blame the earthquake under New Jersey on climate change. And then they also blame the, the, the ship crashing into the Francis Scott Key Bridge on climate change. Because they're freaking loser-ass morons. The hate America first crowd. Uh, let's throw that in the mix. That's 140. What can we give up? One, two, three, four, five. Nope, I don't need that much. 345. There. We'll buy us a couple of bots because we haven't had the bot shop up and running for a bit. Okay. So I have a plan. Plan is to build up this new solar panel here. Okay. And let me actually see where we're at generating wise. We're ge and, eh, yeah, no, we need we need some we need to work on this. So Mm. You know, let me build here. Nope, nope, nope. Squishy, squishy. Nope. Damn. Okay. Uh, I don't want to build solar panels to because we're gonna put landing pads here still. Oh, you know what? What an idiot. Build landing pads. You want to store ore somewhere? Build landing pads. <laughs> That'll get it done. But then shut them down so they don't eat up your power. Okay, cool. Now let's kick this in the ass here and get it rolling again. Roll tide roll. We had the um, 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 we were under the totality. I think about ninety nine percent totality if not pretty close to 100%. I think I was about 20 miles north of the path of absolute 100% totality. But it was it was kind of neat. I really was like hoping it would be cloudy because so many people were losing their shit over the deal. And I just thought that was redonkulous. Look at all the activity going through here. So that's why you got to have all those airlocks. It's to support the landing operations and stuff. Now, we get that done. Then we're going to put a small pad here. Like that. All right, he's going to get that done. Now this clown here, if he just... All right, get back inside, dude. All right, so we got... Uh, that is complete, which means this is redundant, which means this can be recycled. 
And with that being recycled, that opens this up over here. And that open, uh, wait a minute. All right, now, see how it's day, daylight? Now we're okay. We'll go ahead and kick it in. Once you start seeing an indication of power coming in on the solar panels, now if you're in the middle of the night, of course it won't. But once it starts indicating that it's picking up power, the storm's over. All right, now, this, shut it down. Now, you've got to have a small landing pad before you can build a, a starport pad. But see how much metal we've got now? So if we decommission this, if we decommission this, we'll get nine of the, uh, so this is 10 total, and then one each for the connections, so it's 11. So we'll get nine of that back. So if you need storage, that's a way to store stuff. Oh, you want, oh, you want 60% commission. You suck. Oh, no, we suck again. Um... I'm thinking we still have a crap ton of stuff here we can get rid of okay that leaves 10 in inventory that's a hundred of that throw in one of those 340 uh, we've actually chopped down the amount of metal we have hmm and food is now actually at a reasonable amount which we're looking to decommission i need to transfer over to the big to the other dome because i have a plan i guess it's to six to 400. um yeah you know what let's just throw geish out there and we'll get this i know i'm overpaying for it but i don't care oh we're in commercial See, I, I don't know if you guys are, if you're able to hear me right now. So let me answer that. Um, okay. All right. So you guys are able to hear me at the moment. Then. The, uh, yeah, I had a commercial pop up on my screen. It's probably because we're on different time schedules. So um, no, you can't. I, I wish you could, and it would be great. There are some things I'd like to see them do because I think this is a great game in a, from a concept standpoint. And I do like the simplicity. Shoot, did I just dick all that up? Damn it, Beavis. Hang on. One, two, three, four. That's 100 of it. That's 80. That's 100. That's 220. Um. Two ninety. Oh, we don't need to do that much. Well, I. You know what? I don't need more than two in store at a time. There's four hundred. We're gonna hold on to the food. We're gonna hold on to that. There we go. Let's throw Gaish at it. I was trying to avoid throwing a ton of shit at it because that just pisses off the people. Get a membership going. Okay. I, I yeah. I think I'm I don't think I'm working tomorrow, so I'm gonna try to get a hold of Google and try to square this away. Because I gotta change my email address associated with my account to a different Google because I had it under um, Team Amic Rocketry from like fifteen years ago. All right, 640 for 640, trade. I normally wouldn't go that much, but we have plenty of crap to trade away. All right, so that said, we have sick bay here. So we're going to put in a med cabinet and a med cabinet, and then we're going to put in all the beds we can, which should just be like six.
Now, again, this is a way to store bioplastic because that's effectively eight bioplastic right there. Out of spares. Son of a bitch. Do I not have the... Oh, because I haven't built the stuff in the factory yet. What an idiot. All right. Spares workshop. Give me two. And then we need a superconduct semiconductor. Watch his every move. Superconductor. Orchestrate illusion. Superconductor. All right. So now we got the GM tomato. So what we can do is swap out our tomato plant and then we can build the GM mater plant which is down here so the GM plants put out four uh, things per cycle uh, as compared to three for the normal plants all right uh, we'll do radishes here so this super dome here gives you six gives you 24 pads and then what we're going to need to do is do another wheat pad and tater salad pad. They call me tater salad. We're going to do a medicinal plant pad back there. We could put a tree in here too. Oh, shite. That's not good. Oh, 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 oh. that's my bad. My bad. I got it. I got it. I got it. That and that. Okay. Shut them down. It just, it, Dawn just cracked like a fart um, okay so now what I did here hopefully let's see if this works if it's stupid but it works it's not stupid right so if I go here let's see if I can pull this off slow down trade ship you're just gonna have to wait a minute okay do that there well I may be able to do a lot here actually <gasps> Mmm, maybe I can make this bigger. Mmm, nope, nope, I don't want that connection. I don't, nope. You know what, let's go, that's, that's fine. This is a 20. So this smaller um, O2 generator will produce enough air for 20 people. And the bigger one then does enough for, eh, eh, no, 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 no. Connect, hullabaloo, connect, connect. Come on, connect. There you go, son. That's what daddy wants. All right, so now we're going to do that there and then this here. Yes. Okay, excellent. So you'll see in a minute what the point of this exercise is. Oh, we got a bar over here. I forgot we got a bar. Oh, yeah, that's we're down on food production because I cut down on food production. So let's put some more maters and onions and lettuce in here and then radishes nope not there uh, do more mushrooms because we want pasta and then on this side we want another pea pad and a rice rice baby pad and then some more wheat okay cool I don't do maize it's just seems pointless to me all right trade ship was in port is it still in port it is what you got 40 percent commission i ain't really i kind of don't have much to sell you now i cleaned out my inventory and so i don't really need anything at the moment dismiss token I mean, if I need a bunch of metal, all I got to do is, is recycle one of these landing pads. You see what I'm saying? That's how that works. Now, power storage was clearly an issue. So what we want to do is, uh, first off, let's, ah, damn it. I've forgotten something here. Bot shop. I forgot the bot shop. Oh, here's the thing. I can now decommission this. So as soon as, oh, we do have a new sick bay online. So yeah, now we can actually decommission all this. So if someone gets hurt, they can drag their ass all the way through across the base <laughs> over to here, which sucks. But here's the reason. You got an early VA appointment. Hey, thanks much. 
Q, appreciate you very much. Hope things go well at the VA in the morning. I got to talk to my doctor on Monday, so. Solar Sims, I'm not familiar. Um, you cannot mine out a mountain for habitation. I wish you could. So what I'd like to see is more flexibility in um, like your placement. One, two, I want to see just all narrow corridors or you can choose a corridor width. So then that gives you more flexibility on the placement, right? Because like this is a narrow corridor. That's a narrow corridor. That's a wide corridor. You see what I'm saying? Three, I want to see vehicles like little bulldozers and stuff. So I want to see a vehicle hanger, and that would be cool. Um, oh, I need to start decommissioning some of this stuff. Let's take out, that one's only 55%. Kick this back in the ass, oops, kick it back in the ass. All right, so something just produced that did, so that's decommissioned. Oh, this tomato pad just produced too, so I decommission it. Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? Oh my God. I forgot I already rebuilt that. Oh no, it's not massive. It's a very large. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're good. I, it, it, it's I. Right. I'm on top of it. Sick bay, tomato pad just popped. Uh, this medicinal plant just popped. The pea pad just popped. Uh oh. Why can I not re? Oh, because there's no connection otherwise. Fix that. So I need to upgrade that power storage right there still or build another one somewhere, which if I built, you know what? There's an airlock here. Hello. It's a trade ship. Um, that's too close to the landing pad. I'm not a fan of that, but I could put it out here if I did this. Maybe I have to think about that. What do you got? Oh, we don't have that. Let's get that. That's only two ninety. We could buy that with cash, and so I think we will. That'll be it. Boom. Goodbye. Technocracy reached. We have all the techs. Yeah, stuff. All right, so now over here in the bar, we need two things. We need a couple of video screens because we're not going to be able to make a connection across here. Yeah, see, we can't make that connection. So we might as well put the video screens on the side. We're not going to tear up. So then we need seats here and here. And we need standing tables here and here. And then we're going to put a water fountain in the back here. And then we'll put in three booze machines like that. And that's going to eat, start sucking down some of the vegetables from storage. And then we'll see if we do anything else over here. I'll actually put in another water fountain back here because this is closer to, well, I mean, it's right off of here. Now, all right, so we're, we're low on bioplastic at the moment. So let's get that kicking, kicking chicken. There's that. What I would like to do here 
is Establish that connection. Can't make that connection. Okay, once this connection gets established though, then we'll still have this ring set up. Because I think I need to put a bot shop over here. And mm, Oh shit, we're producing way too many spare parts. And way too many semiconductors. Cool. Oh wait, that's the gun. We want the arms workshop up. There, cool. So all of a sudden we're out of metal. Uh, what do you got? How much do you want? 55% commission? I don't have the time for you. Okay. So we are not going to have a connection here, which means in this spot here, we can put in at least one more, con one more panel. Okay. Now the other aspect of this is we need another panel for security over here. And then at some point, we'll need a radio op over here. Okay, good. So now we got a bar up and running. That's going to make people happier. We've got a kick ass gymnasium. That's going to make people happy. Uh, we need a bot shop. Okay. So for the bot shop situation, I think we're going to take this is going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, may need to put in an airlock right here. Just to facilitate construction. And that's the only problem is you got to have, uh, you know, ways to build stuff around. I can't cut into the, unfortunately, here. I'd like it if you had like, you know, a, 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 a bulldozer and could do a little bit of work, like blasting away here or whatever. All right, I just heard that complete. Nope, it's not complete. Shit. Now, we're in the middle of the day, so all we need to do now, shit, that was close, is watch. See, so now our solar panels are producing nothing. Oh, this game, no, nah, this game's been around since 2015. There's other games that are more intricate. Now, see how it's coming back up? Now we can re we can take off yellow alert. Okay. So one, once you see the power start coming back up during the daytime, then you're good to go. All right. So we need this completed. Part of the issue is we are not mining enough. And part of the issue is we don't have a bot shop. So we're not producing bots we need. That's a medical trader. Bet you're expensive. Yep. Bet you're out of here. See ya. Okay. How many uh, armed guards do we have? We have 10. I want more. Okay. Now we got this airlock running. Okay, so now I have a plan. Here's the plan. We're going to take that out. I, I think I have a plan. We don't need a big bot shop. This is about to pop. 99, 100, done. That's already popped already. Already popped already from the Department of Redundancy Department. I'll take care of the last of those. All right, guys, go clean that schmutz up. Oh, this is crew. All right. So notice their suit colors. What the hell? Where are they going? They must be going to pick stuff up. 
so we got a if I slow down so we got a worker a worker and a medic yeah see they go in to pick stuff up which is great sometimes people will come in and do that but you got to see who's coming in so that gives us extra workers and an extra medic now we need This guy's going to pick stuff up. All right, bot shop. Question is, if I put this here. Oh, I could. Oh, this may work. Let me see if it works. If it's stupid, but it works. Hello? If it's stupid, but it works. Uh, squishy. No squishy. Damn. All right, let me see if I can redo this. We really only need a small bot shop, but, oh, this may give me a little more room. This is a different angle. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> Sweet! Yes! Do me, baby! All right, so that puts us this close. So if there's a yellow alert we, for Sandstorm, they don't have to go far to get to this airlock. And this is going to be the bot shop. We could have done the airlock off of here, but then this traffic has to come in through here I don't want people coming in through here so this puts the people coming in through here and what would work even better is if I move this and then move this mine over here and then we could realloc relocate this more at this angle because that would be more cool actually we could move this over here slightly and then probably get it to go out that direction and then it look would look more cooler but that's okay but the point is, so ore has to come in through the airlock and then just into here. Now, typically, you want that to be just a direct connection. And really, it probably wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if I actually took this out and made this here and could connect it off of this and then put the bot shop here. But ideally, then the um, factory should be here and the bot shop out here. But that's okay. Uh, so... Nope. Now, see, we got all the all the the uh, hookups. Out in the garage. Well, maybe not this late, but yeah, that's that's true. You you got I I detect zero lies. Oh wait, we just oh, wait 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 shit. We just had um. Okay, it must have been legit. All right, hold on. Let me look at my crew situation. Damn it, I hate that. Okay, now we got 12 guards. They'll all be armed. 12, four. Okay, this is perfect. Good. I like this. I like this spread. I actually wouldn't mind more guards. And like one more medic. That would make me really happy. Uh, do I want to trade you stuff? Maybe. No, I don't. Goodbye. Get foe. All right. So now we're actually uh, stocking up on. It's unfortunate I can't fit a seventh one in there. So we got six in each. And then, actually, I do want more medics. There's a reason for the season. Okay. All right, so we got two... There should be three of them there. Three consoles there and four here. I think we're going to take this console out. We're going to take... Yeah. All right. Excuse me, folks. Hold on for a second. I'm going to put you back on the job in just a minute. So I need three security consoles in this space. I think we can do this. 
Yes, perfect. Okay. So now they can build that out. Um, all right, robotics has been built. Hooray. Oh, that's the biodome that we're going to replace here shortly. And then we just got to get this done, which we need more metal for. Oh, crew. What just happened? Go. All right, there's a medic and there's a guard. Okay, good. So that takes care of our medics. It gives us eight. That gives us 13 guards. Um, okay. Also, where's our lab? We're going to bring this back online and this back online. And then we just need metal. Which, if we could get this going, that would help. I guess I don't have enough workers. Maybe that's a problem here. All right, there's that. Jesus, that just came screaming in, didn't it? Okay, so now, over here, so we got three security officers there. Oh, here we go. What do we got? One, two, three, four. What the hell? Hold on. Okay, that's a guard. Two guards and two workers. Beautiful. We're done. Perfect. This is going to be the next number we need. There's going to be more. Um, probably going to be the next thing. Okay. All right. So now we've got all these guard stations here and here. We've got medical facilities here and here. I don't think they're building them because I've got the power off. So let's get the power on. Kick this in the ass. Now, I think what we're going to do is... What was this? You probably don't have anything I need. Not really. I can take some cash, but it ain't going to matter. Big blast right in the middle. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's get, get this guy's cash. Oh, you know what? Let's produce, let's, let's take a driller bot while we're at it. We got plenty of shit to trade. That's high value. So we're going to keep those. Um, takes us down to 10 total up here. Guns, we should have everybody armed. We could trade a couple of these. 150. Well, I might as well take the cache out. 216. Okay, cool. Now I guess another driller bot on the job. Okay, we need that up. And we need those workers because we need this metal processed. So now, bot shop. We've got some metal starting to come in. So we're going to put in a repair position here and a bot workshop here. And then we just have to monitor. Oh, there's a cool feature here too. Check this out. You do this, you see this little camera thing? Cool, huh? I know, I forgot to mention that. All right, bot auto repair has been built. That's good. Sleeping facilities is still an issue. 
Um, so I think we're going to build some of those over here. Yeah. I still need this built. Because then we're going to be able to start doing some swapping out of the water extractors. Um, and do we have power issues? I think we're about to have power issues. So we're going to need to deal with that next. So there's this. And then we're going to build another one over here. And then we're going to build one of these over here. Actually, no, this puts us far enough out that a solar panel would be good and not too far out from the airlock. But then beyond that, we're going to be looking at power collection. Shit. Um, plop that in there. I don't know if it's going to let me do this. Squishy. That's just not quite going to fit. Okay, can I possibly back this ass up? There we go. That'll get us into that next alley over there. Trading ship. What do you got? Oh, you got something I can use right now, which is metal. How much you uh, charging? Yeah, you're charging 65%. Get fucked. Okay, so. Uh, I need metal. You know what? I have metal. There's metal. So now all that metal will get drug over here and get this stuff up and running. Now that takes care of a whole bunch of water production. Whole bunch. And that said, that will allow me to actually take this one offline. Maybe this one. Hmm. Oh, I need to take this one offline. Oh, wait. Is that the only connection here? That's the only connection there. Power storage is low. This is not good. We got no wind. And yeah, that's why we need this new solar panel. Yep, it's critical. All right, we're going to shut down. Yep, Pew. we just freaking lost all power. And a meteor just landed on something. But that's okay. Now, this brand new solar panel is getting built. And once he makes this connection, now we're going to be in good shape. That was the first time I think we've lost power this game. Uh, that connection is made, which means we should be able to recycle this. And in recycling that, I think then what we can do is what I was talking about. Driller bot. No, 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 not driller bot. Take that out. Build that here like th ah, that might actually work like that. It's kind of cool. Can't connect that. Okay, we can connect off of this. And then what I think I can do is not that I need to do this, but you know, I was talking about it earlier. So all right. So let's see what our grid looks like here, real quick. Fifteen and thirty-two. Boop, 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 boop. We're good. Should be able to fire this up. Without any issues. Uh, this here we could use. We can make some bunkage. One, two. 
Uh, this is going to be actually visitors' bunks. I can't designate it that way. I wish I could. And I wish I could. Um, that would be a great thing if you could designate bunks and access. Visitors are only allowed here to the med bays, uh, into the bar, the canteen, and the uh, workout area and the bunk. So basically, this would be a perimeter that the your visitors wouldn't be able to access beyond. And I wish you could set that up. That'd be something I'd add in if they remade this game or came up with a, uh, you know, some add-ons, you know, improvements to it. All right, food is looking a little bit scarce because we are using it, but I think we're using it, well, I'd say we we're using it efficiently, but we're not. So it looks like we need another GM tomato plant and a GM onion plant and a lettuce plant. And that should help because what's happening is you got lettuce going into the uh, drink machines. Let's see here. Vegetable lettuce salad. Boom, boom, boom. It's producing pretty quick. Ve wheat, radishes, tomatoes, onion salad. Perfect. Just in time. Wheat, lettuce. If we can get another plant in there. Wheat, lettuce. This is going to be basic. That sucks. Oh, peas. Salad. Perfect. Ha <laughs> ha. Like it. Now this machine's out, this machine's out, and this machine's out. So, we got metal, we got, uh, all right, oh, bot shop, I forgot, carrier bots are in work, and there's a new one about to roll off the assembly line, which is great. Switch to an engineer bot, please, I think. Oh, we just lost a driller bot. Yeah, I want to get one more engineer, Ugh, no, belay that order. Let's go with the driller bot. And we can actually build another bot machine there. Now, what we need, fire that back up. Okay, cool. So, the whole point of this exercise, if everyone gets the hell out of my space, perfect. Thanks. Yep, sorry, dude. Get the short end of the stick on that deal. I think. Oh, damn it. This is a long way. I can't squish an airlock in here. We're just going to have to deal with it. Actually, wait a minute. Can I? One, two, three. I got three. Damn, I can't take him out? Went large wind turbine, which means this is a very large solar panel. Wait, is it very large or massive? What do I want? Very large. Yeah, they don't have massive solar panels. They have massive wind turbines. Oh, no, they do have massive. <gasps> Oops. That needs to be upgraded. That needs to be upgraded. That needs to be upgraded. That, I think, no. Very large is as big as it gets. So you see what I'm kind of doing here is I'm moving the infrastructure out of the original build space to kind of open space for more do domes. All right, now that that's out of the way, this guy's here, which is kind of a pain. This guy's here, that's kind of a pain. Um because what I want to do here is actually put in another living quarter. So let's take out this video screen. And I think we can take out this water extractor. Especially if I kick back over here. And that's as big as that gets. That's as big as that gets. That's as big as that gets. That's not as big as that gets. But we can work on that later. And unfortunately, I can't make that connection. If I put this here, can I? Yes. Okay. So that allows us to create a loop. Because otherwise, all this crap out here was feeding into the base right here. Now we can circumvent that. We need this connected, though. Damn. 
Uh, oh, okay, we got another option here. And that's this. Then we can take this out. And we can move it further out. If I put a... There's an airlock here. A grid of solar panels. Um, so... <sighs> The solar panels and the wind turbines require spare parts. You look at their condition, excellent, okay? They require, uh, you know, maintenance occasionally and spare parts, which are right here, right? So it helps to have them close to an airlock. So as you build out your base, you know, you want to have places where you have airlock access and then you put the solar panels and the wind turbines kind of right outside those, but these water extractors and the power collectors don't need maintenance, nor do the telescopes or the radio arrays. I'm going to go ahead and sound a yellow alert here. All right, did we get this all clean? Damn it, we didn't get this cleaned up yet. Not that that's going to matter. There's, only, there's like five of them. Yeah, here's the sandstorm. So now watch this. Watch the it bleed off. You'll see we're in the middle of the day, so we're going to be okay. Now, we're at max speed on the winds. We just don't have enough wind turbines to make up for the power deficiency. You see, this is bleeding off. I'm going to speed it up here. So then you'll know the, the storm's in full effect here as this goes to zero. Now we're consuming more power than we produce, but that's okay. We're going to get some daylight before everything's said and done. And the, the wind turbines are doing a pretty... I mean, I need another big wind turbine. Two of them would be great. They produce 80 each at speed. All right, now power's coming back up, so now we can just cancel red alert or yellow alert. Okay, so this is stupid, but I'm going to have a, a way to fix this here in a second. All right, this here is on driller bot. This is going to be on constructor bot. And then when we get a chance, we're going to put in an additional robot repair deal. You got to monitor that because sometimes it will get stupid and produce way more than you need. Okay, so over here, let's take this out. And we're going to put this in its place. <laughs> Actually, belay that order. We're going to put another one of these in its place. And then we're going to put another one of them's outboard of that. Actually, belay that order. We're going to put this out here. Hello, hello, hello. And then we're going to put another one of these. And then we're going to put one of these. That's all metal crap. Fortunately, we got our metal production finally kicking again. And then once we get some driller bots rolling we just produced one yeah we got four we get six we'll be good then we'll have no humans working in the mines all right now our food production's rocking oh now this is cleared out hmm what could we do here oh i know a super ass big super big ass biodome Sucks we can't connect it here, but. All the metal's going to go out here. They already built this. Look at this, all hooked up now. Now you see this connection done. But now we got, we just vastly increased our, not only our storage capacity, but our production, wind turbine production. Which means we can take this one offline and then we'll probably be able to decommission that because we should have two 
Well, we have one there. So what do we have? 20,000, 40, 60, 80,000 kilowatts. And then that gives us 92.5 KZPS. Big dome. Excuse me. Pardon me. Do you have any gray poupon? Oh, this will be nice. So we'll probably put medicinal plants. This is as big as you can build a laboratory. We'll probably put medicinal plants in this one. Incoming. Um, and uh, just make that connection because then the medicinal plants will go straight into the laboratory. The laboratory. How are we doing happiness? Sweet. Okay, you know what? With all this Willy Foo Foo stuff going on. Oh, we can decommission this. Take you out of play. Boom. I can actually take you out of play. Let me think of where I want to put another. Yeah, you know what? Squishy. Can't squishy. All right, how about over here? There we go. Oh, yeah, that's in a little cul-de-sac. I like it. All right. Pad up. Pad up. Pad up. I think we're I think we got enough. Now we got these massive panels coming online. I still need to ooh, no. I still need to fix this one. Um So we're upgrade stuff, and then we're going to take this solar panel out of play. Big doom. Yeah. Yeah. Bum, 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 yeah. Cool. They didn't even tear up any of that shit. Perfect. Love it when a plan comes together. We'll just put that right there close to it, too. All right. Nobody got trapped. Hooray. All right, let's put some GM maters and GM onions and lettuce and mushrooms and radishes. Shit, we got so much. Damn. Bioplastic coming in. This is Department of Redundancy Department. Oh, no, you got trapped, dumbass. She, yeah, his signature's shaking his head. What the hell am I going to do? I'm trapped. Well, I could let you die because you're a dumbass. But I'm going to be a nice guy. And not kill you. Dumbass. So here's the problem. I, I'd like to get across here, but I can't. But now we can get there, I think, if we come all the way around. Well, wait a minute. Shit, I went too far. Oh, no, we got over here to build, too. We have so much shit we can build. It's not even funny. It's insane. Um, I just landed. 40% commission. Oh, yeah, we got like seven guns. We can freaking take his money. Medical trader, huh? Why don't you buy some guns from me? Actually, just keep going. Just give me all your money. Give me what I want and no one gets hurt. That'll work. Trade. All right, let's see how we're doing bot-wise. I want to make sure we got plenty of carrier bots to support this we got three. Yeah, we need to kick that in the ass, too. So here, this is at zero. We're going to have to switch over because we just got a new. Well, shit, no, we only have one. I want more engineer bots. And, okay, so what are we lagging here? Oh, I know what we're lagging. We're lagging behind here. 
uh, because we need more driller bots. So if I put another bot workshop here, we can dedicate one to each type of bot. The only issue is then it's going to kind of tax our uh, engineer resources. We've got two panels going over here. Uh, now that we've got a new that over there, we're going to take this out here. No, we're not. That's the freaking connection. Uh, we're going to take this connection out here. Get, get, get out. In or out. Dude, you're like a little freaking child. You're freaking working off alien planet. In or out. Make up my mind. Good. There. Now. Let's see if I can do squishy. Thank you. That's what I wanted. Now that looks more cooler. Oh, God dang it. What the hell was I doing? Squishy. There we go. Cool. Then this can connect to that. Beauty. So then we'll be able to connect, cut, cut the connections over here. Move this, move this. Yeah, stuffs. All right, yeah, get that built. We'll just land it. All right, that's built. Now we need that connection. Thank you. Perfect cool beans all right trade ship just landed all right so now we can actually get rid of this this and this and then we're going to have the shizzle to build another super big hoopa -joop. but i gotta figure out where we're going to build it first so i think i'm gonna actually run this out over here like this and then we're going to put a super big hoopa jupe over here ish like that and then this is going to be the priority and we're going to put an airlock over this way too and we're going to put another super big hoopa jupe here so all that or all that metal over here so actually we don't need this we needed it to make that initial connection, maybe. I could have probably figured it out for this. But now it's hooked up. Hooked up and in like Flint. Flynn. Flynn, Flint, whoever. Okay, we got a lot of freaking... Um, I need more engineers. Well, yeah, I need more engineers. Now we'll get like four medics. Watch. Now it's nighttime. We got two big, uh, yeah, two big wind, wind turbines over there. I feel like I want to put another sleeping dome over here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, you know what? It's time. I think we're producing enough power there. Oh, yeah, we got three of these. Here comes a cruise ship. All right, let's see what happens here. Two engineers and a medic. All right, that works. Let's shut that shit back down because that was just exactly what the doctor ordered. Well, I'm going to keep this up because next thing we're probably going to want is more biologists. And more workers and more maybe more engineers cool visitors welcome all right now we need a radio console and we'll build that right here all right I think we're making enough power that hell yeah well, it's, oh, it's morning. 
So the panel, this is something I don't like. This is stupid as hell. You know, you're probably going to know where the star rises in the system each day, right? Because the stupid things turn around to face it. But the problem is you lose that time as the sun, as the things coming up at the end of the day, they should rotate back. It's not like it's going to, it comes up there today and it's going to come up there tomorrow, right? At the end of the day, the panels should automatically rotate back to their morning position. And that's something I have, I have a major gripe with. We're still producing double the amount of power. Um, and the wind just died. So. Some late night. Am I okay? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm actually, yeah, because I don't have any work tomorrow, which sucks. And I need to go to bed here pretty soon, but for now, oh, do I want to trade anything? 35%? Yes, you know what? I'll take a driller bot. I can use that. Uh, here, take one, two, three, four of those. And take a bunch of those and give me back my change. All right, so see, we got these massive pants. So the point is you want to get to where, you know, you're running with the biggest equipment you can. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Now, this is now where I want it. So the fact that we haven't got any visitors yet is a little bit weird. Do I have, I turned visitors on, didn't I? I did. So we got lots of armed guards. Okay, so all visitors are going to so land on the ports over here, right? They'll have to come in through these airlocks because it's unusual. They could cycle run all the way over here if it's a big crew. But we have three guard armed guards there and then these guys could deploy out to address a threat that direction. Okay, plus if you have armed visitors, you know, say one came this way and you could have like others come. All right, here's our first set of visitors. Let's see what we got. All right, so this guy's pissed off. What's his problem? He's just not happy. He's going to get a meal. He's hungry. Um, this guy looks like he was dehydrated, so he's a visitor. So he's getting happier. So these guys are okay. So um, they're going to go get something to eat, have a Coke and a smile, shut the fuck up, and all that good stuff. Which only three coming off that big ship is kind of stupid, but whatever. So then they'll pay us for our services. All right. Now, if they come off and they kind of loiter around, then they're kind of looking like they're checking shit out. Then you know things are going to hit the fan. And that's not good. I actually think we're going to add another desk right there. Beautiful. Beautiful. I kind of want to get rid of this desk and turn it into a uh, telescope desk because I don't want all my engineers and I don't, you know, I don't want all my eggs in one basket. So here's the way this is set up. The way I've got this set up is the way I want to set it up. Although I have double O2 generators between the landing pads and the command center and the storage which makes trade a little hinky because it's that much further to carry shit. But if the people start acting up, they're going to act up within this distance. And then the security is going to engage out here. Now, if we get a call and we need some refuge, we have some refugees or something coming in. Nope. Goodbye. Then, um, Oh, you know what? I probably need to get that other pad opened up. Let me... Shit, that's too far out. Oh, you know what? Uh, not ideal, but this would work. And we got a lot of food coming in. That's good. 
but I don't think we have enough biologists to support the operation, so we're going to need more. So, oh, damn, that just missed. Did that hit the visitor ship? It must have. Meteor impact on connection. Oh, that hit this connection here. Damn, that was close. All right, who, who we got here? All right, slow things down. All right, so these guys, see, they're in purple. That makes them visitors. All right, they're hungry. So them coming in hungry should mean they're not a threat. Usually visitors that are coming in with ill intent don't have anything over their head. But then they'll pay for our services. Here comes a cruise ship. Okay, so that's another medic and another engineer. And it kind of sucks that they're at the outboard pad, but they'll get in here pretty quick. So we've got visitors here as well. Now we're at yellow alert. If we get if we have uh, intruders, then we go to red alert. But your visitors will come in and they'll need medical attention sometimes. They'll they'll want food, water, a place to sleep, and maybe a drink. So damn, this is actually getting full. So we may need a see it. See, they'll pay us coins for their services for our services. All right. So let's look at the uh, before I open up this other. I, I want to build another big ass wind turbine. And I want to build some more uh, beds. Trade ship. What you? Where you at? Forty percent. Give me that. Give me that. And I'll trade you one of those. That leaves me at twenty. That's good. Eight of those. Two of those. Short on that. Oh, that got us there. Give me back some change. Sweet. All right, cool. So, yeah, this is this is looking pretty righteous right now with a side of indignation. I think we're going to be moving this cabin. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, I know what I was going to do. I remember now. Uh, we were going to get rid of this, but I want to make sure. Wait, somebody just came in. Oh shit, it's a cruise ship. Slow things down, slow things down. What did we get crew wise? We didn't get more biologists. We got, oh, we got three more medics. All right, now it's all biologists. All biologists at this point. Shit should hit the fan within like five to eight seconds. You know, if you're moving the game along like at this speed. Um,. All right, so uh, where is, yeah, I, we're producing three times as much power. I think we can power this up. And good. Okay, so now we're going to look to build another visitor. Oh, shit, that puts us kind of in a hinky position there. I think we're going to be able to build one. Nope. Okay, here comes crew. All right, two more biologists. That's good. That should put us in good shape. Just give those people a little bit of breathing room to relax and chill. And then this right here.
visitor ship okay these guys are not happy uh, let's slow down and see what they're not happy about she's going to a drinking fountain this guy's going to get a meal and this person is going to a drinking fountain so they got the dehydration all right but you see how I have a defense in depth situation set here anyone coming in on the landing pads has to airlock in and then that airlock situation buys us time for them to decide if they're going to be pissy or not and if they are we've got guards here and guards here to engage them I'm gonna take this panel out and we're gonna put in another telescope panel so that puts armed guards in the way to buy time because what will happen is your your uh, colonists will actually go out and engage them in fisticuffs. <laughs> and it's like you're bringing your fist to a knife uh, to a gunfight. I think I've seen this movie. <laughs> it's called Medieval Dynasty. Stupid ass. <laughs> yeah, no, doesn't work out well for you dumb shits. So, all right, what just came in? It's another trade ship. Well, I need to wait till he lands. Nope, you're done. Goodbye. Get off my landing pad. Hey, you get off of my pad. I said, hey, you get off of my pad. Uh, all right, so we got telescope, telescope. We need another telescope. I can math, and this doesn't math. We're out of metal, though. We need to process metal faster. All right, landing pad just got built. So we need a third telescope. That starts pushing up your um, percent intercept percentage to you get to about 90, 95 percent. Running for mayor or some shit? Nah, dude, I got too much. I got too many issues. All right, dehydration. All right, looks like everybody's minding their p's and q's so far, and I know you don't want to see that. So. Part of the problem is, all right, we do have someone on the radio console. Um, I think we're going to build us a signpost. Because, yeah, why not? We need to get our prestige score up. We'll get more people in. But our production now is getting a little crazy. So we may be producing too much um, starch. So I think we're going to decommission these pads here. And what I'm going to do is actually... What is this here? What do we got over here? What you got? What you got? What you got? All right. Signpost has been built. Hooray. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this cluster down. And we're going to shift it over here. So GM tomato. GM onion. Lettuce. Radish. Mushroom. And then... We're going to come over here and we're going to take this. Yeah, see this the condition of these is suffering a little bit because we've got too many pads and not enough biologists to work them. We are way overproducing food at this point. So that may actually help. I took a few out of commission that but that also means we need more biologists. All right, trade ship, huh? Nope, trade ship's gone. Goodbye. Here come crew. Nope, that's not crew. That's visitors. All right, what's you guys' story? Oh, red alert. Here we go. Now watch. These guys are going to come out and start getting up. Oh, here we are. Gunfight at the OK Corral. 
And see, they made the mistake of splitting up. Now, look, my guys are going to start beating up on him and shooting him. Now, this guy's going to get his ass kicked here in a second. This is a guard heading out there, I think. He's already hurt, though. Our guard's going to be in trouble. Unless some others engage quickly. Okay, good. All right, that's it. Intruders have been killed. All right, stand down, red alert. Shoo! Okay, there you go. I Something seemed fishy about that group coming in there. There you go. Now, so this is why security, right? Airlock's in. And see, that's they fell for the trap. They split up. One went this way and two went this way. And then I have my larger guard force and smaller guard. They were outnumbered. So now my guards are in getting treated by Doc. So now this is why we have three large um, sick bays over in this area. Could probably put a small one here. No? Squishy? No? Um, is then we have 18 beds coming off of security because security wants to know any medical issues. Oh, that was crew that just came in. That was three new biologists. That should that should square us away. That puts us up five. Yeah, 22. Let's just check some of our pads. They should be in good to excellent condition. Now, now we're getting active. We shouldn't have a raid anytime soon. 45% commission. Give me a constructor bot, too. Jeez. I will trade you a bunch of crap. Um, Three hundred. Okay, there's that. There's that. Um, there's that. There's that. Give me a coin. Make this an even trade. I'm not giving up one stupid coin. All right, lasers are engaging. This is good. Uh, we got our third. So, if anything, we probably need some more uh, guards. I'd like a few more guards and a few more engineers. And maybe some more workers. Twelve medics should be enough. Because if we start getting the calls here, and we haven't gotten any calls yet, for the radio. So let me look at something. Oh, that's that's out of coverage over there. I'm not too fussed about it because there's not inhabited stuff. And the bots will take care of it. So. Thanks. I appreciate that. Um, I mean, I've learned some valuable lessons from my dad with his military experience. You take care of your people, they'll take care of you. All right, I think we just got another here, here. Twelve medics, we're good. Actually, I think this breakdown is pretty good. There, that's good. Now, um, I do want to take out this, because I can put another cabin over there. Uh, part of that issue was we built this here, and I don't want that there. That's why I want this here. What was it? What just landed? What just landed? Cruise ship? Okay. All right, nobody's faffoing around. That's good. Nobody faffo around. We still didn't get another guard. 
We got a couple of workers. We got an engineer. All right, so yeah, I want to build another whoop, do, 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 do. There's crew. Crew just came in. All right, one guard, one biologist, which gives me 16 guards. I'm happy with that. 24 biologists. Let's dump this number out because then that means we've got eight guard panels, right? Three here, three here, five here. Okay. So that means, whoa, how the hell did we run out of spares? Engineers, what the frack, dudes? Um, do, do I have enough engineers? 18 of them. So that's one, two, three, four, five positions here. Plus three telescope positions, six, seven, eight. Plus three bot shop positions. Oh, you know what? I think we can nix the jobs on those for a minute. Six, six, six. Okay, that's enough engineer bots. That's driller bot. That's an engineer bot. Uh, let's make you a carrier bot. And if I put in an additional, whoops, radio console here. What if we put an additional radio receiver out here? How are we doing on power? We're producing double what we use with two large pads and four small pads. That's pretty good. We could put in one more large pad over here. Now, nighttime is the key. Okay, there's a new radio antenna. Check the um, water. Oxygen is more than sufficient. Power is a bit of a sticky wicket at night. Not surprising that happens. Um, that's not doing us any good. Is the very large the biggest one I can do? I don't want it there. Oh, shoot. Well, I didn't want it back in there anyway. Kind of have a plan here. I thought I built power storage is low. Oh, that's not good. Um, okay, this is going to do this over here. Then we're going to do this over here, I think. No, we're not. We got to get through this connection here. And then we're going to do one more O2 over here. Okay. And then there. And then we're going to do a airlock here. Oh, 
Okay, sandstorm approaching soon. All right, let's get everybody back inside. Let's shut power down here. And let's power down this. Actually, we don't need this starport at this point. I really, well, I kind of, I didn't want this here. So once this airlock gets built over here, then we're good. We're producing 214, we're burning th 240, we're burning 314. That's pretty good. I do need to make this easier to reach over here, though. Oh, here we go. All right, here, this gets interesting. All right. Large group of irradiated nuclear workers are asking for help. All right. Do we grant them permission to land? Yes. All right. So now they're going to land, and now we're going to see what happens. Here they come. All right. So we're actually going to go on yellow alert to get the medics on duty. So they're all going to come over and fill up the uh, sick bay. So the docks should get, get, on, get to work. And 18 is usually the most you get. That's why I have 18 beds. And we, in fact, we only got 15. So now the docks are going to come in and start taking care of them. You need to make sure these cabinets are full. Pretty close. And this is going to actually eat up a lot of our um, medical reserves. So I'm actually going to power this cabinet back up. And then we're going to go ahead and get additional medical personnel in all right see they're clearing them out pretty quick they paid 300 coins for the services boom done that's it so there's our first big uh first big deal Single, 1,365 coins now. Yeah. Here comes crew. Oh, shit. Red alert. Red alert. See how they're purple? See how they're purple? That means they're bad guys. There's going to be four of them. Here, go. Here comes. Everybody's coming to fight. They're so stupid. They're going to get killed. Although this guy grabbed a gun. He's not armed, though. He just died. So we got multiple people dying. Well, I think they got him. Oh, they killed the, the intruders. All right, so we did lose one person. He was a worker. The combat wounds. He was a brave man. He grabbed a gun and went after him. But he's not wearing any body armor, so that kind of didn't quite work out in his favor. The odds were not in his favor. All right. Still, status is good. All right. Yeah, I think we need to add a little bit more food production back in here. Oh, wait. We've got one medicinal plant working there. We need to take this one out here. And we're going to put another one in over here. Because it makes sense because it's right next to the lab. All right. Uh, we're short on metal. We got a lot of demand right now. How many? Um, we have seven driller bots, so there's only six positions in the mine. So 
We could probably use a couple more. We're in pretty good shape in that regard. And what we could do is another O2 generator over here. This is actually a pretty good idea. Actually, it's a really good idea. Actually, I really like this idea. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to plunk this down. Wait. Yeah, we're a ways away from that. Uh, how many crew do we have? 88. Oh, Jesus. So there's seven. Uh, 10. 17. And 12. That's 29. Yeah, we don't have enough beds. We need more beds. See what we got here. Get some legit crew this time. Okay, we got another medic and another uh, biologist. We're gonna need another worker. Yeah, it's, it's kind of cool. The only thing is the AI for the um, power storage is low. Okay, we got to work on this power situation. So we got to make sure we are getting full power. Um, and what we needed was this over here built. That's the problem is our metal production is down. I got an app for that. There's a trade ship. Actually, we can use his stuff. Yeah, we'll take it. Screw it. Um, one sixteen. Yeah, we need to, we actually need to crank up our um, vegetable production here again. Ooh, not that much. And we're going to buy three medical kits just to help restock. Throw a gun in there. Oh, well, that was close. There we go. 232 for 232. Cool. Yeah. Restocking after a crisis like that can take time. Um, so we want to get all the kits replenished. We could put... Well, it would probably be smart to build a second laboratory somewhere over here. Crew. All right, there's two medics and an engineer. Excellent. We got incoming transmission. What do we got? Irradiated nuclear workers. Ah, we don't No, We can't. We do not have enough medical kits to service them. I mean, we're getting close. We're 13. That's not enough. That's all right. Um, okay, so now we got this up and running. So that's adding to our power production. So we can get everything filled up. This is going to really help here. Damn, we just went to night. That figures. And then this is power storage. We got metal rolling out this way. That's going to help enormously. Oh, that actually works. I dig it. Do that. Because then, can I? Can I? 
can I? Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I? I mean, it's not going to matter. I can make the connection here somewhere. Yeah, so that'll work. I'll be able to make connections over there. And then we have, we still have up the middle for um, inhabited stuff. Although we may want to mine over here. 45% commission. I do want more metal. So I'll take your metal. Trade you that. Oops. Crew. Three workers, of course. No, we got a guard. We have two guards. Son of a bitch. 30% on guards. Yep, we got guards. Okay. We're done on guards. We have more than enough. Now. All right. We're going to stick with what we got. Because I feel like, well, we still need more food. Place of regular onion, onion pads with GM onion pads. There you go. Might as well get our money's worth out of them. And yeah. Excellent. Sweet. Now there's some funky shit we can build too. Um, you can build a, a, a pyramid, which takes a lot of resources we don't have at the moment. And then after that, you build a monolith, and that raises your prestige. Your yeah, your prestige goes up. Got cool shit like that. Whatever. All right, so now we got extra twenty thousand storage. So we've got. 100,000 storage. Probably need, and then the wind just died. And we're in the middle of the night. So we're going to bleed power. Having this big starport is 33 kilowatts. So that's, we're burning over 100 kilowatts. Well, 66 plus 20. So 86 kilowatts. Let me look at something here real quick before I before I do any deals with you. Ten, six, and seven. I don't need bots. I don't need fifty five percent commission either. Okay. So now we've kind of gotten spread out here, so it's almost like we're starting a whole second base over this way. Um, now this isn't a super long way. I mean, it's a long way to carry crap so yeah it, but the bots are carrying it so if the bots are doing the work then the humans will be okay with it
if we're going to be able to build another. We could build it off the security center, but that doesn't do me any good. 40% commission. We don't have anything I want. that here. Hello? Hello? And we'll be able to take that offline. Red alert! See, I wish under red alert conditions that people wouldn't go engage. They need security support. One's down. Two's down, three's down. Forty percent commission. We are going to buy some medical kits. All right, lots of gunfighting. You get docks, docks in here. We have 15 doc, doctors. So we should be good to go. And we're producing medical kits right here. Uh, food is looking pretty good. Looks like we got the three machines up and running producing vitro meat. We have lots of meals. Let's check out the meals. Salads, excellent. Basics, yeah. But salads, salads, good. Basic, bad. Uh, basic meals, bad. It's tomatoes, radishes, tomatoes and meat. Yeah. And then pasta. Pasta's great. Tomatoes and chicken, yeah. May need some more wheat. Yeah, cool. All right. Now that's coming up and online. Will you fix that last connection there, please? Thank you.
the one outstanding issue I have, which is not the worst thing in the world, is, oh, poop. I meant to take that out of play. Oh, wait. I know what I can do here. Let's just put the cabin here. So our biologist can sleep there. We'll stretch out over here to another O2. Shoot. Nope. Hold on. I have a plan. All right, person, I need you to wake up. Thank you. There. I have a plan. Trust me. Oh, this is a different trade ship. We don't even have the last trade ship cycled through yet. Jesus. Do we not have a freaking enough um, bots? Move all this shit because we're, we're going to get dumped on. 12. Yeah, we're making two of them at a time. Uh, should we engineer bots? We'll shut it down for now. Please tell me he didn't just shit on the pad. Nope. Okay. So what's going to happen here is if our guys don't get those two stupid um, spare parts, this guy, he's going to crap all the stuff on the pad and we're going to lose the deal. And we're going to have to just drag all that shit in. Right now, there's a sandstorm detected. I might as well stay focused this way. All right, so we're going to take this out of play. Then we're going to build another O2 generator right here. And now I'm going to try to see if I can get this to work. Uh, this may take some squishy. Come on. Move that metal. Smedley, why didn't you pick up that freaking metal? Dude, killing me. Come on, somebody take the damn son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, if I can put this way over here. I want to get rid of that airlock there anyway. that way the hell out there like that. Uh oh. Not the big one. Yeah, medium cabin. The problem is they never built bigger cabins. Damn it. Come on. Excuse me. Jesus, we've been we've gone through two cycles. Come on, let's go. There we go. We're done. Okay. All right. I this guy's not going to get his shit and he's we got 25 fucking spare parts. And he just, look, he just crapped all his stuff on the pad. Because you retards wouldn't take the shit to him. For fuck's sake. All you bots, useless as shit. Okay, we can shut that down now. So now we get this done. Now the biologists are going to have their own space here to sleep. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sweet. Yeah. So now, then we got another bunk. And the cabins make people happier than bunks, so. All right, cool. Oh, we got another spot over here too. Any bunks here too. This will be for security folks. I don't want any visitors coming over here, but they may. Visitors are intended to go to this dormitory right here. So hopefully they'll go that way because it's a shorter path. We do have room for another um, another landing pad here, but I might, I don't know if we can send something off of that. Okay, can y'all manage to get three guns out there, please? Just three. I, I, I know it may seem like seem hard. Now, see, what else I did here, though, is we've now shortened the distance um, that they have to go to get outside. Boom. And they're right at this. Now they got easier access from here to these two turbines and the two solar panels. So that helps out. So now with that said... We can make this connection here. And then we can um, break this connection here because we have the loop goes out and then back here. Uh, oh, wait. So then now we can extend off of here for future considerations to build habited, habitated stuff out this way. We could come off the bar as well. I don't like building too many connections because if you look, there's really cool equipment, like these little tanks and stuff. And some of that, that stuff gets lost every time you make a connection. You get cool tanks like this and like this, you know, all kinds of cool accoutre accoutrements. Wind's effectively dead. So we go one, two, three, four, five big ass turbines. So that's four hundred kilowatts that those can produce if the wind's cranking. And we're using 324. So at night, in theory, if the wind comes up high enough, we can produce enough power to recharge the system. All right, let's see if we can get 20 spare parts out to him. Help clear out some of that storage. We're going to need another storage unit. Well, I say that. Of course, yeah, I think we are going to need more storage. Um, that could probably come out of here. Big dome. Yeah. Actually, it would work pretty good right there.
It's not right off of here, but it will connect from here. Sweet. That'll work. All right, that's cool stuff. I like it. So, yeah, we have made a lot of progress on this base tonight. Holy shnikey. This has been a long-ass stream. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to save the game. And we are going to call it a night. God, it's almost 2.30 in the morning. So I hope you enjoyed it. It's been good times. I appreciate you hanging out with me there, Dread. And uh, anyone else who's been watching, thank you much. I hope you enjoyed it. Planet Base, now available on Steam from Madruger Works. Get you some of that. It's real cheap. It's, only, it's, like, it's 2015 game. Uh, so it's not expensive. And it's a good time. So, God, four and a half hour stream. Damn, that's almost seven hours of streaming today. Wow, that's a lot. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give us a like, share with your friends, let them know about the channel. Let them know about Planet Base. We have thousands of hours of video for you to enjoy. Questions, welcome. Throw in the comments down below. Um, join us on Discord. Link in the description below if you want to make a donation to help support the channel. There's a link to our PayPal down there as well. But make sure you subscribe and turn on that bell icon so you know when we go live or upload a video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I know I did. It was a lot of fun. I'm worn out. But I hope you have a great day, night, evening, morning, wherever you are on planet Earth or beyond. I'm A-Train. It's over. And I'm out.